This is the very first Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher tournament in English because Kujira beat me by like three days. Kujira. But we got like 70 entrants. It's going to be crazy. Um, there's no stat cap. Some of the monsters I've seen are... They're nuts. Some of, some of them are nuts. And I apologize because we have too many people to do regular double a limb. So what we got to do is a single limb best of three format. If your monster doesn't make it, that's okay. This was mostly just a throw shit at the wall and see what sticks type of tournament. And I think uh, going forward, we will be implementing stat caps because it does look like it's, you know, you can max out some monsters. That's, that's a spoiler for later. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. So, auto versus auto, if we really have to, we'll just sim the battles. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to fight? I... I'm gonna say we just fight in the arena. Wait, can we fight in the arena at night? It doesn't let us fight in the arena at night. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, we'll just fight in the arena. Somewhere not too laggy. <laughs> that's everywhere. Honeypaw, thank you for the ten dollar dudes. Okay, so... If you're new to the channel, I think a few of you probably are. We do predictions. You have 30 seconds starting now to bet on which monster you think will win. Here are their stats. They're very similar. That 5,000 skill doesn't really matter. It looks like it's a detriment, but when your opponent's got zero speed, 10,000 skill, 5,000 skill, doesn't really matter. All of these are best of three, so first to two wins. And other than that, good luck, I guess. Also, uh, Freeman, thank you. We got ten dollars from Anonymous as Anonymous as well, and thirty-five from Clyde Cash. Thanks, folks. Very kind of you. Okay. King Joe's Funky, you want to raise one so bad? I raised one last night, and then I realized I was absolutely blowing up its lifespan, so I raised another monster today. I've been busy. 35k on the King Joe. People like King Joe. Here we go. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me he's got it. He's got it. You're cruising for a bruising, brother. Here comes the tanker toss. Damn, look how much damage that is. That's insane. Oh, my God. Okay, we got the scratch, a little bit of damage there. Strike actually below 90% chance to hit. It's an attack. This game's sick. Oh, that was enough. King Joe takes game one. Have a boat. Give a hoot. Have a boat. Fight again. Okay, round two. Raising King Joe at some point, that's final. I think the tanker toss is the best move in the game. Hey, hey Gamers Outreach, how are you guys doing? Okay, round number two. Here we go. Danium Shutter. Oh, there we go. Defense up. Look at that. I am unkillable. Gets hit with the scratch. That actually does a decent amount of damage. Oh, good crit. I'm going to be like just blown away by everything in this because this is a monster entry too. I don't know what to expect from half of these attacks. I don't know if it's got C-Force or D-Force or if it's an A-Force tech that doesn't cost much. Oh, here we go again. Uh, Kyo goes for the supercharged big damage but gives him Villainous Instinct. We know how broken Villainous Instinct is. And Old Marshalls, thank you for the follow. There's a tanker toss. Oh my god. It would have killed him. But he's still in it. He's got that self-repair. 20% life. Cool Shroom, thank you for the follow as well. 15 seconds left, gets him with a slap. I think George is gonna take it. 35k, baby. I'm telling you. There's no upper limit, as far as we know. I Nobody's done six digits, but that's a lot of damage. So, that goes to George. Was that one? 2 0. Oh. Next up, we got I to see Uwu 2. I wonder whose monster that is. And Ho Ho Ho. Or Ho Ho. 
Yeah, who who could the first monster belong to? I didn't uh, write down names. No. I didn't write down names, so I don't actually know who anyone's is. But, uh... Do I have to type in the whole name, though? Can I just do that? No corresponding kaiju found. So I do have to type in the whole name. Wow, this is going to take a while. I'm glad I decided not to go with... Uh, with double a limb. Is I to C U? Oh, it's lowercase. Oh, fuck, this is gonna take forever. Why is it case sensitive? Who decided that? There's a lot of like little nitpicks I have with this game. And then ho ho. Like the search function in uh, DX is kind of broken. Doesn't really work properly. And this is somehow worse. Unfortunate. But, you know, just tedious. Nothing that important otherwise. Okay. Start the battle. Okay, prediction is live. You can double click the left stick, turn on caps lock. Okay, thank you. Look at those pissed in this game. Look at how. Oh, he's so sinewy. It's gross. Ugh. I don't like this. Got to bet on the eyeball. You don't want to bet on the man on the on the right, the man in the mirror, as it were. Yeah. What do we got? Same guy. Same hat. We got 82% on the Dada. Here we go. Oh, wait. Point blank shot. He's got the smooches. One hit wins. Gets zapped with the warp shot. Oh, he's got the grit, though. What do we got? A little spit. Here comes a kiss first. Dodges the kiss. He's like, I I will be the one kissing. Ooh, hits the Swayze will be in 46. They're both alive, though. Dodges a point blank shot. Ways we're gonna do in retaliation. A deep kiss? That's gross. Oh, it hits! Hits the second time! That's enough. So, I think personality determines monster AI in battle. I don't think it's been confirmed yet, but some of the personality types just don't attack. It seems really messed up. Okay. Game two. Oh, he gets smooched. Loses the guts. Oh, there's a spit, though. He's got one life to live. Oof. And there's a second spit. We're going to game three. You know, after the tanker toss, like, it's going to be hard. Oh, he's got an eye on his tongue. That's gross, too. What's going on here? That's nasty. But uh, after the tanker toss, I think everything else is going to be a little bit of a letdown after that. You know? Okay, game number three. Here we go. Oh, the Swayzo Beam, he goes for it. Didn't need to go for a big move, but he did anyway. Because, you know, who cares? Ooh, warp shot. Both on the last... Last hit. Last hit. Here we go. What do we got? Runs forward into spit and then runs away. Oh, the warp shot misses. Another Swayzo beam. 26 seconds left on the clock. Nobody's landing at anything. Warp shot. Oh, he gets him. Ho oh, Ho loses. Or Ho Ho wins. Sorry, Salvius. That's Monster Rancher, though. Okay. Next monster. 
We got Coco, Popo, and Drog. What's this? Coco Po and Drog. Here comes the money. Here we go. Try using reader name instead of monster name. Okay. Try using breeder name instead of monster name. Hey, thanks. Shells. Would that even be better, though? I guess the names would be a little bit smaller, but either way. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? So it looks like it's been skinned, and that's going to haunt your nightmares. It looks like uh, Soul Edge. It's nasty. Breeder name might be a good idea. It's a good thing that uh, I don't have any breeder names in the in the bracket. Well, this is pretty one-sided. It's pretty one-sided, but you know, crazy things can happen. Ninety-two punch lands. A little bit of damage there. Oh, okay, that didn't, that didn't do much. It did not do much. Okay, attack. Damage, but we're doing its best. Landing some attacks. It's another one. Keeps stabbing him right in the dick. But, Drog is alive. And, well, it's backwards. And there's the final tail attack to take game number one. So, game two coming up. Like seeing two giants just swinging hands at each other? I think this is what they intended. This is developer intent, as they say. Prince of Monsters versus Corn Godzilla. Yeah, he does kind of look like Corn. They're gonna tell smashing to each other makes the brain juice go. It's part of it. Do we really need a game two here? We did, but it's over now. He gets back up and falls down. You believe in the comeback? <laughs> well, that's it for that game. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sending monsters in too. You know, everyone who lost round one, Selvius also lost round one. And Selvius is one of the best players in the community, so you're in good company. I think that's it for the play-ins. Okay. We've got Big Yulon and Zaz up next. Uh, uh, I keep clicking on the wrong thing. Big Yulon. Spell that right? Yep. Oh, hell yeah. Black liner. Get out of here. What are you doing? Away from my coffee. Away from my coffee! Clown ass fly. Okay. So, last one was a little bit inside, but I think we're going to get a couple of those. Your guy refused to increase his stats with his rampages? Yeah, so did mine. I tried, just couldn't make it happen. Okay, the prediction is live. What do you guys like?
My guy's not even close to being dead yet, though. I haven't even got the retire first retirement message. So I think I have time to train and see if I can get above 12k. Just turn him into a money making monster. We got 25k on Zaz. Ooh, goes for the 1% head, but Pistol's gonna take it. Zaz takes that one. Bring on the Tecmos. You might see him. I might uh, might be broke by the end of this. Gun whack. I love that that's an intelligence tech. Why is it an intelligence tech? Just slap him with the gun. The current monster stats might have fooled people into betting him on him. Oh, did you show off another monster and then Bigulon? I don't know. Oh, hit with the gun and dies. Oh, he gets him again. That's gonna be it. No one ever thinks to use the gun as a blunt object, you know? Damage is damage. Fourth level dimensional chess plane to use the gun as a club. You know, they do call them gun clubs for a reason. We got Armageg Armageggwin. <laughs> oh my god, these names. <coughs> And Sack. You know, I'm hoping Sack wins, so I don't have to type in Armageddon Gwyn a second time. Here I thought having a 15 character limit instead of a 12 character limit was... What? What is that? You're searching too quickly. This game's bizarre. What? Is there a timer on that? Okay, prediction is live. Slow down there. Whoa, you're looking to play the game? Hold up. Hold up. We're not having any of that. Please click on all the plants in pots before you continue. Oh my god. I don't even have a mouse. It's a switch. Okay, we got... A lot on the penguin. Hell yeah. That's a lot of power. And a thousand skill? This dude is gonna fuck up tanks. That's sick. Oh, there's a Dino Talisman in this tourney. Missed the Tail Crush. 28%. Ooh, good damage on Bemstar Horn. So crash again, it lands, but he's living, and he's got a lot of guts. Just can charge at 68. I think Armageddon can still come back, though. Oh, the bonus is worn off. Paralyzed Claw misses, though. 30 seconds left in the match. We're only halfway through. Stab, just a cheap little tech, a little bit of chip damage. Not really what he needs to go for here. Needs to go for the horn. Oh, the confusion! He pushes him back, though. He pushes him back. He gets the push kill? Damn. Okay. Okay. We got a push kill. I feel like I should uh, donate for the push kill. I'll put five bones in for every push kill. That's one. We're up to one. Let me write this down. Ambush at 39 is going to miss. Wish you could fit that trade on your Mon. Start from being... Armageddon does not actually have a lot of intelligence. A cool thing about this game is that you can remove text from your monster. So if you get stuck with a lot of intelligence... Text from Errantry or whatever, you can just say, nah, I don't, that's cool, I don't want that. And then you're good. That move is insane with the bonus to, uh, what do you call it? The, the move that makes 
the trait that makes your attacks cost less when you're in trouble. Telecrash misses. 15 seconds left. Can Armageddon do this? Another vomit? That's not going to do it. It's a little bit... It's a little bit of damage, but it's not a lot. 10 on a crit, or 100 on a crit. The push kill again? Are you kidding me? Okay. I feel like push kill might be, uh, might be important in this. That's two. You just gotta hit once. Just gotta hit once. So, next up we got Zoop and Tomato Town. Your sweet spot push cookie but didn't push? Oh no. That's so good for the mirror match. Zoop. Okay. Or if you get another special attack before your match, leave it as is. Oh, that's a thing, eh? People can just adjust their shit mid-match? Oh, no. Yeah, how, if you change your stuff mid-match, you, you lose. You're done. If your loadout is not the same as it was prior, that's, that's a loss. That's an instant loss. Okay. Prediction is live. What a new and novel way to cheat. Cherry, thank you for the follow. Have you seen the mochi fusions? Are there any? Not really. Using the key code prevents that? Yeah, but uh, if I have to manually type in like a 16 digit code, it kind of makes it difficult. Is there a reason we passed Mr. Big Pants and George? Because uh, George just fought. You actually register the same monster more than once, so you can do more than one stat cap. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for letting me know that the, the code changes every time, but it's very unfortunate that it's just a huge pain in the ass to deal with. They really don't care about competitive play. Eh? Like they, they really don't like care at all. It's really unfortunate. Okay, so it looks like most people like in Tomato Town. The Mochi Tune? Oh my god, you got tuned. I'm going to guess at 3%, not going to land. Is Clambo in this? Clambo is not in this. They need to add in the ability to pre register a whole bracket before fights. That would be very cool, and also not something they would ever do. Like the sound Baltan makes? Yeah, Baltan's got good sound effects. Push him back. Oh, I got tuned again. So this Moshi's just like straight withering, eh? Okay. Tomato Town wins game one. See how there's no cap change in code? Probably easier to type. Is there? I don't know if that's easier. Well, we'll do that for the second one. Man, I didn't even think of people adjusting their stuff halfway through. I probably should have just hid the bracket. Ooh, Mochi Bullet's gonna take it. That's gonna be it. The Mochi moves on. The Garmon you're raising with Shrine using the words Tommy and Hamburgers? Hell yeah. Okay, so that goes to Tomato Town. We're gonna see a lot of potential blowouts here. We'll also see stuff like uh, I to see Wu and Ho Oh, who have like the exact same stat spread and are both very powerful, but have to fight each other around one. It's all over the place. There's no prizes. This is not. This is just for fun. This is just to get people interested in the game. Oops. And uh, it's good for me to like, oh my god, 
Oh my god. And it's good for me to like get this out of the way, you know? There's always growing pains with a new game when you're trying to run competitive for it, so... I'll just do it. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you guys like? Here's the stats. Jesus, one life? Hell yeah. Alright. This is a good build. This is fun. Oh my god. Great build, I know. I'm a fan of it. I like it. Especially if it's like all withering. <laughs> Just hyper anti-tank, you know? Please don't hit me, Strat. Push when incoming? Oh my god, it could be. Okay, here we go. 56% on bomb. Is... Rock throw. You can't even lift it over his head. His arms are too short. Flaming headbutt at 3%? He tries it. Always gotta respect him for trying it. Doesn't go for the bomb. It does go for the bomb, but it misses. Another one. Oh, he gets him. It does very little damage, but it does a lot of work. Rock throws your favorite Blink-182 song, Mark too. Oh, the pushback, he doesn't have it. Great Darkness for... Great Darkness is really strong, I think most speed builds will start running that in time. It's another debris attack, lowers his skill. What do we got? We got a timeout, Zephyr wins game one. Is that Tangents? I think Tangents was called Destroyer. Not dead by push. You need a special trait to uh, to do damage with pushes. Spaghetti is a great kaiju name. There, there's a couple of good ones. Okay. Oh, he runs right up on him. Oh! They're dashing! They're dashing and pushing. Zephyr, if your opponent had the push thing, you'd be dead right now. Push with the wallop. You're gonna get scrounged? Oh no. So did Kai lands anything? That's, uh, that's another tally mark. I'm up to 10 bucks I gotta put into the, bo into the pot right now. Wallop misses. Some of the bomb, it. A little bit. Missed the wallop. The wallop. It misses, though. It misses. Okay, he's got great darkness, so his opponent's got like no chance to hit. Zephyr's done like 20 damage total. Misses the debris attack, but you know, it is what it is. I feel like that attack lasts so long, he has time to like rotate just slightly to angle it differently, you know? Rock throw miss. The guy's gonna win that. I haven't seen Zephyr's traits, but I do believe it's got grits. So you would have to get hit twice. That was gonna be a very hard match for Zephyr to lose. Okay, next up Zoom Borg and Comlord. Okay. I don't know, Zoom Borg. Big bad Zoomy Borg. Okay. No. Okay, so that's a loss. It's typed, it's typed that way. I don't know whose monster that is, but... 
It is what it is. Rest in peace. That's it. That's how it's typed. That's how you typed it in. I don't have time to wait for you. We got too many monsters today. So that is a win for ya boy Zeph or for Zumborg. Paul Penguin and Xavier up next. Xavier Renegade Penguin? I gotta watch Xavier Renegade Angel again. Legitimately one of the funniest shows that's ever been on the air. Oh, is that a Nova? You guys keep trying to sneak a peek. Don't look at it. Oh wait, did I... What did I do? Did I not type in Paul Penguin? What's going on? I think it's very easy to accidentally back out. Okay. It's on HBO Max. Oh, I've got a bunch of episodes saved. Prediction is live. Do you need to fight me? Oh god, do you need to fight me? Shaka Shuri Blowdown is a fun thing. That episode is insane. Like this Bemstar build? Ooh, tank Bemstar? Hell yeah. I like the Dada move where he shrinks your monster and punts it. There's so many cool techs in this game I haven't even seen yet. I love that, like, we're just figuring out how to play. Like, I, uh, the monster I entered, I think, is pretty good. There are better monsters in the tournament, but I also did it without combination, and I feel like the ones that are, like, significantly stronger than mine were combined, because I don't think it's possible to do significantly better. But last night, I made a monster, and I was originally going to enter Golem King Joe tonight, and... He just up and died, like, out of nowhere. I was like, oh, this is great. I've got three stats maxed. I'm working on skill. And then it was just like, yeah, he's dead. And I'm like, oh, okay. I, uh, I don't, I don't know how to play the game yet. And that was, like, a really, it was humbling. And, it like, it was nice that I was just like, oh, I, I legitimately don't know what I'm doing. So I spent some time today and last night, and I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Can't wait for the stat cap to be enforced. Yeah. Now, there will be a stat cap. This is just a week one tournament. Let's see what we got. Orange Frost. Oh my god. Well. Jeez, those eyes are terrifying. What the hell? How do you keep your monster from retiring early? early when? I'm going to do like a, a beginner's guide. I started writing the script today, so I got ideas. Dada is so wonderfully creepy. Yeah, he's insane. Lethargy Beam. Gets him. Decent amount of damage. Oh, but the flying attack is just gonna take it. Well, Mr. Penguin. He stole Gotham's jewels. Okay, we got Pyro Win and Gustav Max next. Let me just update bracket real quick. Where's N? Oh. oh, the pro row one? I should have... I should have guessed. I should have known. But is he any match for Gustav Max? I'm really surprised there's no Antland breed. Or is there one and I just didn't notice it? Gustav Max is just pure moch? Hell yeah. 
I have not even seen Windom. I just unlocked him yesterday. Uh, I haven't actually seen him at all yet, yet, though. So I don't know what he does. I don't know what his whole deal is. Prediction is live. I didn't even see Windom until this one. He's so funny looking. He's literally just a guy in a suit with a weird helmet. Like, I know everybody's just a guy in a suit, but this guy's just a guy in, like, a shirt and pants. He's just a large man. Got 12,000 intelligence, skill, and speed, and a tiny little bit of life. Okay, what do we got? The mochi headbutt. The mochi bullet at 1%. Wind dom shot. Goes for the tune. I will not be sung at. Laser. I love how they all, like, put their hands up when they fire. Hip attack. I like how Mochi's got some stuff that's not from Monster Rancher, too. Ooh, the wind dump shot. Is. So Mochi's gonna have 1% one, 1 across the board. How do you get stats above 10,000? Your monster can go on a rampage. And one of the potential things that can happen is they come back with increased stat caps. Mochi lands in tackle will be the hypest thing of all time. 20 seconds left. They're even. Mochi boom! He misses it. But he wastes a lot of time. Or maybe not that much time. It's just that it's slowing down the actual game. Fun fact about this game. It will not charge in your switch dock while the game is running. It takes up too much, like, power to make it happen. Another hip attack? Is Mochi gonna win on Gats? Oh no. Mochi might win on Gats. <laughs> okay, Gustav Max with game number one. Oh my god. He wins by Gats. So if you guys don't know if there's an exact tie, it uses three stats as a tiebreaker. Hit percent, damage dealt, and guts spent. And the Mochi spent four more guts with that hip attack at the very end. So the Mochi wins game one. The technical fighter. I should donate 15 for a Gats win. I'm already going to be donating a lot by the end of the night, so... We'll see. You should donate 15 for a Gats win. You're telling me what to do. Nothing's stopping you from doing the same thing. Mochi Boom at 1. You know, when all of your attacks are equally likely to hit, the cheapest one is the best option. Oh, get zapped. Whoa, Mochi goes flying. What the hell? Oh, he looks gnarly. He looks like he's all rashy. Okay. Fight again. Hey, fake life with the 10 biddies, thank you. Oh, no, it's 100! Holy shit, man. That's very kind of you. Hell yeah, well, we're halfway there. Right on. Right arm, bud. Damn, fake life, that's very generous. Updated graphics driving now, your speakers won't stop crackling? That's unfortunate. I got the ability to unlock mochi, but I don't know what the keywords to unlock mochi are at the altar. Guess you gotta start trying, or you just go to legendcup.com and uh, you take a look at what people have uploaded as far as known codes and stuff. This arena makes you think of Primal Rage for some reason. I wanna start playing Primal Rage again. There's a competitive community. Camp attack. Gustav's got one shot to instantly win. Laser 53 dodges it again. What do they got? I like how much bigger Mochi and Suezo are than the other guys. And then Mochi goes even bigger with the diving press and boom. Why is boom intelligence but diving press is power? We love Primal Rage's characters but never had the game. I, uh, I played it a lot when I was a kid. I also had the toys. Oh, hip attack miss. He's swinging. Might come down to Gats again. Pro and cannot hit the 50%, eh? I like how they're just staying at max range. Like, 
haven't attacked outside of max range in a while. Withering shot. Mochi bullet! Four seconds left. I think Mochi's gonna win this. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Well, that's our first big upside for the day. This is why we usually run double a limb, but that is a huge payout. 40 to 1. Well, there you go. That's certainly something. Certainly something. Okay, next up we got Don't Face Palm and Salarymon. Right. Dr. Zok is now following, thank you. I wanna play video games. Oh, is this the tyrant? I, you know, I think, did I spell it right? I spelled it the way it's written. I, I, I'm sorry guys. I, I'm genuinely upset about this. We're only like a couple of matches in. This is so unfortunate. Day was good, did some experimenting. I'm trying not to play off stream and it's killing me. Yeah, that's my problem too. I did raise a monster off stream for this tournament though. Because I wanted it to be a secret and then running into all these problems here but yeah i can't believe how like it's such a big problem like an actual big problem at least the community understands it's not my fault i know but that's not the the point right the point is i want to put on good events and bandai namco is saying you're not allowed plasma and ha 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 up next so again if your monster's name doesn't come up we will do a quick search to make sure that uh it is spelled correctly and all that fun stuff. But then after that, if your monster is just a different breed that I don't have access to yet, I apologize. I apologize for being slower than you at the game. We got two plasmas. They look identical. Is ha 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 a Metron? I <laughs> called it. Okay. That's yours. Nice. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Enough of that unpleasantness. Get that shit out of here. We're here to have a good time. Whether or not Bandai Namco wants us to. Yeah, if I haven't used, if I haven't unlocked the monster, I can't fight the monster. That's basically how it works. Honestly, surprised they didn't give us attorney mode. You know, I think you're a little bit more optimistic, just in general, than I am. But especially about this franchise. Grim Gator, thank you for the follow. You know, I try, I try to keep positive, but this is like a very deliberate thing they did. I don't know. Is that Fairy Baltan? It's something Baltan. I don't actually know what the, the special Baltan is called. Anyway, these monsters are very similar. Looks like one hit's gonna kill. They're letting you interview Fujita again. Should I ask him about this feature? Um... So, the, the, the thing is that it's not gonna matter soon, right? It's a big deal early on, but it won't matter soon. Oh, no, I, I think the biggest help. issue is that we can't play against people in Japan. Oh, bring some towels. <laughs> Okay, most people like in ha 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 here. Oh, he's burned! Goes for the glow stick attack. You can't play with Japanese players. There's no crossplay. Is the difference in kaiju generation? I assume it's a different build of the game. No, you can't use JP codes. It's not even that you can't enter the Japanese characters on the Switch, it's that you literally cannot search for them. 
It's it's like two different games. Some players who got the SEA physical version we can't play with. It's very possible. And I didn't get to commentate that at all. But uh ha 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 wins game one. Okay, game number two coming up. Even more glad you just downloaded. Oh, I played with your guy yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so SEA works, but Japan doesn't. Japan's its own version, I guess. Ha ha ha, with the big comeback. What do we got now? We got the Metron Punch. Get him with a little punch. Illusions? Illusions, Michael. Ah, ha, ha, I will not be seduced. Goes for the weird smoke. It's weird indeed. He's poisoned. Goes for it again. Maybe the worst possible follow-up to that move. Plasma goes for flammable gas. Got weird smoke, but look at my gas is stronger. Yeah, more Monster Rancher merch would be nice. Monster Rancher merch is like always like... Video game merch in general is pretty hiss hit and miss, but the Monster Rancher merch, for the most part, is pretty subtle. It's not like Street Fighter merch, which is super embarrassing, and I'd never wear it. Ha ha ha, such a weirdly great name. It's perfect. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, it goes for the illusions. That's 33 guts. Is that the only move he's got up close? Oh no, don't get smoked! Oh, he's got smoked. For the bullets. Forgets he can look to the right. Oh, he hits him that time! Big damage! Ah ha ha, he's got enough life. He's relaxing. Not healing much, but he's relaxing. Oh, more withering? That might be it. Really love his Baltan ball breed. Yeah, he's cool. The bullets miss. We got 12 seconds left. Ha 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 can win it, but not with that. Oh no, he wastes his guts on the relax. He's a lazy boy. It's unfortunate. Unfortunate it ends up that way. Understood the lore of why this guy has glow sticks and a table. He's just a friendly guy. He comes down and he wants to talk to people. That's actually the lore. Face bomb is definitely a line if you want to try one last time, at least to confirm. No, I actually don't have access to any monsters that I don't have yet. We we searched through the breeds and I don't have access to Tyrant as a breed or like uh Thunder Killer or like anything else. I haven't unlocked Five King. Okay. So the Baltan's gonna win that one. Nobody bet on the Baltan there. Metalner and the Worm. So we're not making good time yet, but hopefully we can uh, we can catch up. Okay. Another King Joe, and we got our first Dino Telestone. It's the Dino. It is a Dino. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Has it been established if the name of the unique like Galinova is a question mark, a literal hinted main subbreed? Uh, so just like this is Dino uh, Telestone. Every breed in this game has a like a, a special breed like they do in Monster Rancher 2. It's just that the special breeds tend to be, you know, these monsters. There's actually uh, another monster 
There's a Sevenger Mochi that isn't actually a combination of Sevenger and Mochi. It's the special breed of Sevenger. Just like there is the, the Suezo Gonkyu that isn't a mixture of Suezo and uh, Gonkyu. It's just the special breed of Gonkyu. Also, spoiler, Suezo's in this game, but I, I'm sure most people already know that. Chat was insisting it's not a unique and that it's literally galley subtype. No, it's they don't have subtypes like that. No, it, it's definitely not. They might add stuff later. But as it stands in game, that's not how it functions. No problem. Okay, 95% of people liking Metalner. They just see the name and they're like, we gotta we gotta bet on this. Oh, does he hit him with the cruising for a bruising? No, he's not going to. Paralyze claw. Analyze cube. Slap slap fight? It's coming down to this, hell yeah. Galley theme Nova makes sense. Yeah, neither of them got legs. Tanker toss. Oh, he goes for it. That's got to be like an environmental hazard. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. So mad Galley Nova doesn't have the sun mask. Yeah, none of the monsters in this game have different models for any other subtypes. Really unfortunate. New Melba, Tiger, Gamora, Dino, Tells, Dino, your faves. The Joker one is is really cool. Doing good damage with the shoves. I think it's 4% of their max life. Oh, so we're just slapping him. Metalner's going to win. That's how Metalner wins. He slaps. That's not completely true. A bunch of the Gamora subtypes have horns. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. I do forget about that. Like the Gomer and Dada and a bunch of the others, Red King, they all have horns, but for the most part, it's not. It might only be the horns. I can't think of another monster that has something like that. Has one claw larger than the other. All, uh... Oh, Rekuba's Baltan has one claw larger than the other. That's cool. That's, that's pretty fun. Cool. Thanks for letting me know that, guys. I didn't actually know that. But yeah, it's very rare. Like, none of the, the special breeds are... Unique. It'd be so easy to just make like the galley. Piece. It's unfortunate. I'm a big proponent of like the opinion that uh, fan service does not make a game inherently good, but I'd be lying if I said I, I wouldn't be sold on that. Paralyzed Claw looks pretty good. Yeah. We're just slapping it. Eh? It's with the King Slap. So King Slap is actually like a heavy tech, right? I'm pretty sure it's a heavy tech. I like fan service though, you're a sucker for it. Slot one clash. No no pushing, just slapping. Metal is gonna take that one. Dino would never be able to beat Metal Nair, so that makes sense. Okay. Uh Goody Bag and Mikey. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go back up to the top. We're gonna do Mr. Big Pants and George right now. So, I haven't, I haven't had to pay out for a 90 miss or a 10% hit yet. We got Mr. Big Pants. You guys are lucky I unlocked uh, Skull Gomer the other day. Uh, it's George with an O. Start battle, yeah. Okay. So we've seen like two big upsets on the bet so far today. That Baltan one was like 91 for some reason, but like, I have no idea why. It was a very, very similar stat spread on the monsters. Skull Gomara. So similar. Uh, George obviously has less than half of health. But that's some big stats. Big stats.
horn dude and horn guy. We're we're still talking about horn dude and horn guy. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the thing everyone remembers. Twenty two thousand. Damn. Ninety five to five. Here we go. The Pedanium setup might be the play. It goes for the deep bite. Ooh, that's big damage for only 34 guts. They both have really, really slow guts rate. So we got the tanker toss. I'm telling you, cruising for a bruising, baby. 5k on the crit. Into the tornado attack. Oh, t pose on him. Big damage. But now Mr. Big Pants has 50 guts. And George has got nothing. He spent it all. He goes for the chop. Oh, <laughs> he heals him with the chop. Let's go. <laughs> the negative damage chop. The bite is going to take it. Mr. Big Pants takes game one. It says they aren't live. They're live. Using those pressure points for healing. He does, he does have some big pants. So, Cascade, there's uh, there's an issue on mobile. There's an issue on mobile. And uh, sometimes uh, predictions and stuff don't update. Oh my god, what is this move? It's got the hell- how, how is that a power attack? Okay. You fuck it, throw a boat. Get him. Hits him with the king slap. He's in fury though. Uh oh, George, you gotta watch out. Watch out for the bite! Oh, that's it. Yeah, Hellball's cool. It did way less damage than I was expecting, but it looks sick. Okay. Skull Red King is gonna win that one. 3,000 damage bite? It helps when he has the, the boost. Hell, <laughs> Hellball? 7 trillion degrees fireball, though. Yeah. There's some good names for moves in this game. Okay, so Mr. Big Pants gonna take out George. So George goes 1-1. One and one. Not too bad. He threw some boats, had some laughs, killed some time. Just updating bracket. We got Goody Bag and Mikey up next. Like Mikey from Recess? Hell yeah. Right. Who is that? Rock the Pudge, thank you. Appreciate the follow. Individual attack strength is, you know, an extremely important part of Monster Rancher. And it's a big part of what makes a monster good or bad. So it's really funny that we just kind of don't know. We don't have enough data to be able to, like, comb through it all and see what's good or not. Also, this is very silly. This was your money maker. Okay, these monies are the same. Yeah, uh, Kanagan's got, like, what, like, the longest lifespan in the game or something like that? I think mine lived to like five and a half years with just a silver peach. And I was like doing tournaments every two or three weeks. Okay, prediction is live. We like. If you've been watching my streams, these were my first two monsters. Can't kill capitalism. Tied with Garamond. Garamond's so funny. Garamond looks like a joke monster. Like his stats look incredibly shit. He's got incredibly bad guts regenerate. But I haven't seen any of his techs. He unlocked a lot of stuff for you. Yeah, mine unlocked Windom. He unlocked uh, King Joe. I mean, he beat the game. A lot of cool stuff. I think he he's a genuinely good monster. If I had to think back on it, I do believe every uh, monster that has him as a subtype has an 8 guts rate. So he might be like the Metalner subbreed. I think Mike Les is like always a good boy in the show. Okay, so we got the cocoon bomb, and then what else do we have? Is it scrounge and oh yeah, shower. Okay, that makes sense. Not shower, the the other one. The thirty-seven cost one, right? Yeah. I forget the name of it, but it looks almost identical to like. Icicle arrow. Polly Aki, hello. 
Throwing beans. He just got beamed. Ma 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 ma. Did you ever find out Gob Gob Tom is connected to your money? No, it just heals a percentage of your health. So if you have more health, it heals more. Like if you had uh, 12k life, you'd be healing for like thousands every turn with it. Instead of like two or three like I was. Do we see a scrounge chain? Oh my god, this could be it. He's getting scrounged. Oh no, he goes for the rock shot. Monsters in this game don't tend to like attack multiple times in a row, right? They don't really roll down their attacks like they do in Monster Rancher 2. So that's pretty different for AI. It's Fever, yeah. Shower is the 20 cost one. Fever is really good though. 6k, no crit needed. Poor Mike was getting scrounged. The Kanagan wins it. Seems like the AI actually tries to stay in the ranges it has attacks in. I don't know how true that is, but I would hope so. Do they actually? I, I hadn't picked up on that. That's cool. Might just be... Uh, you know, confirmation bias, but it's cool. I and Kintoki up next. I is there's probably a million monsters named I. We'll find out. Which one is it? Is it JSND's monster? Let me take a look. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. So it's the ball pan. Kentucky. Kentucky fried chicken. Oh shit. Okay, we got a Kanagan sub. Let's go. Two speedy boys. Live. Prediction is live. Make your bets. Who do you like here? If Kentucky gets one hit, you'll count it as a win. You'll have about 30% chance to hit. Okay, here we go. 20%. I, I was a little off. Oh shit, okay. Alright, game one. Game one down. Oh, that's game one. a great mix for Ella King. Yeah, it looks cool. And also, you know, super fast guts rate. They both have fast guts rate. I think they both have an 8 or something like that. Be really impressed with Shock Slap on your Ella King. Crit rate seems really impactful on it. That's it. I, do we know if Fame changes critical hit rate? Also, I want to apologize to everyone. We were talking on stream the other day about how it doesn't seem like stress exists. Stress is 100% in the game. Stress is 100% in the game. I was wrong. I admit it. It's just, it's a hidden attribute. They don't tell you anything about it. Nobody ever says anything regarding it. But the, the astromint is incredibly important. You need to be running like probably two astromints a month. Isn't anger stress? No, they are different. There's anger, and then you do have a stress meter that is just completely invisible. Also, another flammable gas that's going to take it. Is he going to get a gas win? No. No, he's not. 
<laughs> Gotta manage three stats at once, yeah. That's where traits come in handy. You get traits that lower your fatigue or your anger going up. Stuff like that. Okay, so that is a 2-0 for I. We got main care and long mochi. Long mochi? Oh shit, we got Mochi fight? Okay, so that is that is incredibly annoying. Rock the Pudge, thank you with for the sub. If you uh if you accidentally search this the wrong thing on the second monster and you exit out it uh it exits out from the first one too. You have to put both in again. That's kind of bizarre. I feel like this was not the focus. The more I play this game, and like when we were doing the random battles and stuff the other day, this part really feels... Okay, so it's not actually two mochis. This part really feels like the, the bit that had the least amount of attention and love put into it. Because a lot of the game feels like mwah, chef's kiss, you know? Like, I'm, I'm a big fan of this game so far. I really like the fact that I didn't know I was like tanking my monster's life, that I didn't know there was a stress element. I'm sure no rest will be solved, but right now it seems to be more of a case of just like using your intuition on like when you should use a mint leaf versus where you, sh where you should use a juice versus where you should use cacao. And that's really cool. It feels good. I forgot to say this was... Here, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to do it again because I completely forgot to say Prediction was live. Prediction is live. Make your bets here. Does rest lower stress? It seems to. There's a lot to love in this game, but they dropped the ball in versus mode. Yeah, the only things I'm kind of like grumpy about are the performance issues. Like... The fact that the game is so processor intensive that the switch won't charge while it's plugged in. If you're playing this game, like it can't charge. Like it, it's using too much juice. It just stays at constant. Here, let's take a look at this. I was at 79 when I started the stream. I, I'm at 79% now. And uh, that's, that's whatever, but it's kind of silly. It does mean it's hard to play it undocked without like long breaks in between. And you know, the the other obvious performance issues are obviously there. The obvious performance issues are obviously there. That's a fantastic sentence. 61% on Long Mochi. But, I mean, other than that, and how this versus mode functions, which is crappy, but won't be an issue. It's one of those things where it's like, it shouldn't work this way. But what am I going to do? Am I going to sit there and whine about it? Or am I just going to unlock all the monsters and, you know, run good tournaments after? I'll just figure it out. Loading times? Yeah, the loading times are awful, but they are pretty standard for a Switch game. It almost feels like Monster Rancher 2, like, on the PS1. Oh, it hits him with the boom! That's the first time we've seen boom hit. 40% chance. Long Mochi hanging in there, though. This is the Mochi Tune. Can we? The Unlock stream's coming up. Well, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, I guess it'll be a while before I run another tournament. If they port to Steam, are you going to start a whole new file? Probably. I'll buy it a second time. Ooh, we hit some with the licking, and that's enough. I don't want to have reasons to be negative about the game, right? So I'm very glad that the reasons I'm negative about the game are very, very few and far between. The actual gameplay loop is great. All the extra little things you need to worry about are great. All the little interactions with your monster are fantastic. Um, I think they did a really good job because I, I, I am a play defender, you know? I never, in Monster Hunter 2, play with my monsters. I think it's just, it's, it's pointless. Everybody hates it. But I think it is a fantastic thing to put into a simulation game, right? Where you're raising a pet. 
Sometimes your pets want to play with you. It's not that big of a deal. You don't have to play with them when they want, but... You know, being given the opportunity is cool. This makes it feel like... There's a lot of things you can do with your monster. Also, Moshi's got that crit. There's a lot of things you can do with your monster that are not... Intrusive, right? It's not... It's not like Play was a Monster Hunter 2, which is very intrusive. This is just like... Press Y, talk to your monster, see what's going on. Very easy, very important change though for gameplay loop, I think. I like play more when playing the game casually if I didn't suck at all the mini games. It, uh, your monster stats affect how the mini games play anyway. So if you're trying to play with a monster who has like max speed, you'll never win the snowball fight. You need a pet your monster option? We do. Everyone root for big indie for you? You need to head off? Well, thanks for tuning in, shells. So Sorry, I uh, forgot to put your guy in. You wouldn't believe how many people messaged me after the fact and were like, Hey, by the way, uh, I need to completely change my entry. At 4.45, I had somebody message me and be like, Hey, uh, I need to change my entry. Okay, game three, here we go. Even a competitive monster entry... Even in competitive monster building, it's a great move to talk to them. Yeah, it's just free stress removal. Or anger removal. Maybe stress removal, too. Hey, dude, pets Gomera and Ultraman X. Like, the best he can. <laughs> okay, we got a game three. Literally, these monsters have a great chance to hit. Hits the stab, though! 26%! Main character is the main character. Goes for the Mochi too in retaliation. Look at that. 50 guts lead. Well, he wastes it all. More licking, misses that licking. Gets knocked back again, running down the clock. Long Mochi's got a lot of guts, goes for the stab. Ooh, invincible guts, reduces opponent's guts, eh? Hits the licking, they both got one life left. I forget who has more max life, who's gonna win on the grit tie? If there is one, oh no! Long Mochi lands the thrust. There we go. Just getting home, how's the attorney going? Turney is going great, despite uh, despite Bandai Tech. Bandai Tech Mo is what I'm gonna start calling it. It's the, uh, besides um, the fact. Hold on, I'm, I'm getting all tripped up here. Patch. You cannot search for monsters that you have not unlocked yet. So, I haven't unlocked everything yet. So, there's a couple of monsters I have to DQ on that alone, which is really unfortunate and it feels very unfair. And I hate that I have to do it. Speaking of which, though, uh, Fake Life, if you're still here, do you want to just throw in your other guy instead of Face Palm? Because you have another guy, right? Yeah, you might as well. Okay, so we'll do that fight now. There's a radar head. Why haven't I unlocked all of them? Because uh, I've been making videos. Because I, I I have a life. And even though this has been my life, I already have like 30 plus hours in the game. There's also uh, a lot of you know, other stuff I've had to do. I know a lot of people who have already unlocked everything and they haven't played for particularly long compared to me. It's just that um, not everybody needs to make sure they capture footage of every single thing, where I do, whereas I do. And to make sure I'm always recording, it's it's a huge pain in the ass. Like last night, uh, when I was raising my monster, I accidentally unlocked uh, a Super Cov, and I had to like open OBS and like record the fight. Big pain in the ass. Okay, what do we got? 59%. Okay. 59% on radar head.
Really like Ella King. Seems like it has a good variety of attacks. I thinking about it, I think the monsters that I've seen so far that I think are like really strong in competitive play, in theory at least, would are Kanigan. Both his intelligence and his power build. Spin kick seems stupid, like just obscenely powerful. Um, and then Ella King and Baltan, I think, are like the other two. I think are are very very good. Prediction didn't show up. It did. It's the intended discharge. Oh, but he's still living. Tail attack. He's. Oh, <laughs> they both got one life left. Oh my god. One of them's a tank and one of them's a speed, and it comes down to the last hit. And kind of discharge and take it. Radar head. Watching above his weight a little bit. I mean, not to you. I know not to you, but it did come up. That was a lot of actives at once. Yeah. Okay. Game two. Thank you for the pity bets on Radar Head. Yeah. Shock, yeah, Shock Slap seems really good. And then Discharge. Dimension of Thunder. Missed the kill. Hits it again, it's not enough to kill, it's got the guts in a tough spot. He's got 99 guts, 30% chance, go for tail. Oh my god. Gets another 23%, he can still win this. Shock slap on the quarter chance. Tenon's discharge is going to hit, but it will not kill. Raiderhead needs to hit two more times to win still. But he can swing if he wants. Ah. Salarymon is going to take it. But no one can say Raiderhead didn't try his absolute hardest there. He had a very put me in coach mentality, you know? He did his best. Okay, up next, we got Ruby and Sparky. We have the fairy Ella King. I mean, they have, we have a Rekubus. Elazon, that's cool. Hey, two monsters we haven't even seen yet. Well, these combinations, I guess. Monsters we haven't seen yet. Prediction is live. What do you like? I think the pushback poke damage will be something tanks want. Yeah, I was really torn on if I wanted to get it on my guy or not, and I decided against it. But I, I don't know why I decided against it. There is a reason. I had a reason. It probably wasn't a good reason. We got 97% on Sparky. Neither of these monsters have any speed. That's very one-sided. Okay, here we go. Recumbus. It's odd but cool to watch this from a viewpoint of not having a clue of what's happening. Yeah, it's... It's just hype because it's like, what's he doing? Oh, goes for Drill Beak. I haven't even seen that move yet. Hell yeah. He hits him with the Kitty Mo Me, but he's living. Is that the only move he's got? Oh no. He's got other moves. The Flames. Got one life left. Oh. Ruby's in trouble. Intelligence Tank, Ella King. Look how fast that Gus Rate is. Hits him again. Sparky's gonna take game number one. Like how Leela and Lyra are modeled after the alien pit who controlled the first Ella King. Even their hats look like alien pit's head. I know what like most of those words mean. Yeah, Drill Beak looks sick. You haven't seen Golza yet? Not in tournament. Golza bottom tier confirmed? Intelligence and defense is fairy Ella King's good stat gains. That's cool. I like its little, like, flat hands. I think it's very clearly just, like, mittens. Watch for the discharge. That move seems pretty good, too. Ooh, it's a little scratch. It's not enough, though. Ruby's still hanging in there. He's not a lot of life left. He's have the guts lead. He's got something big. Flame radiation probably not going to be enough. It's the flames. It's not enough to kill, though. Let's have that grit proc. Flames him back. 
One damage. Is it Grudon? It does kind of look like Grudon. Yeah. Um, you guys uh, know what game Grudon's from, right? Groudon. Could it be that he's from Ruby? Okay, so Sparky's going to take that one 2-0. Oh. Hard matchup for Ruby. Nucaleptic and Ho-Ho up next. Yeah, the, the game it does have a ton of references. Unlocking uh, Five King and the Big Three and Ace Killer are all references to the show. No. Oh, speaking of Golza, there's a Golza. And <coughs> ho, ho, ho. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Who do you like out of these two? After this one, I'm going to take a quick break to go get some water. And when I come back, you know, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, gamers outreach and all that fun stuff. Uh, you know what? I'll play the I'll play the promo video again while I'm out getting water instead of an ad. How about that? Who's Gorza? Everybody should be asking, where's Gorza? I was clipping something, it sounded like you said you're taking a quick break to get stack gains. <laughs> Need them stack gains. Okay, so everybody betting on Ho-Ho here. Nucleptic, you know. Oh. Well, that was a lot of damage. That was a big crit. God damn. A little bit unceremonious. Nobody asks, how's Gorza? Funny that there's a cookie for a kaiju named Ho. Yeah. Why is Gomara? Gors is not looking great. He, uh, he does not have much defense in this matchup. Get smooched. Oh no. That's his biggest weakness. He doesn't know how to talk to girls. Or boys. And boys said die. Did you get you with the, the blick blink? Is that what we're calling that? The blicky blinky gets him. Oh, who's the scariest mon in the tournament? Mark my words. Let's see about that. We'll see about that. Do we know what face change does? Face change is uh, it changes your offensive stats. So like plus power, minus intelligence, that kind of thing. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? Metron Pog. Oh shit! Fifteen hundred biddies. Thank you for the fifteen hundred biddies. It's very generous of you. We'll throw that in the pot. I'll do a big, uh, a big donation at the end of all of my stuff. So thank you so much for that. Towards the charity, obviously. Obviously, don't want to be supporting the streamer. No, I'm just kidding. There's a time and a place. To support me monetarily, financially. And that is on Thursday. Not so much today. Okay, what do we got? 91%. Damn, 10 to 1? Okay. I mean, it is, uh, it is a little bit one-sided, but we'll see. You're just looking at the bets, not the stats? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're... Uh, Glicken's like, hey, Thousand Eyes, who are you? And he's like, I'm you, but stronger. It's the 30 wither. Metron kick at 8. Knocks down a little rock. I like how there's like the little, uh, little things that you can like break on the sides. Biddies for the children? Thanks, Fire Smoke. Very kind of you. That's another 500 biddies? Yeah, another 5 bucks to throw in the pot. He hit with a 9% kick, did he? I missed it? 
Converse is a healing move. You're just saying that. Doesn't matter. I'll, I'll put it in, you know? You guys can lie to me. It's a good cause. Thought relax was a healing move? It is. What did I say it was? Oh, conver sorry, converse is, um, withering. It's like 40. Glicken's gonna win. On the kick. We're seeing Baltans go down that way quite often. Does Baltan have, like, an inherent just, like, I can't fucking hit anything situation? Oh, that was the Wind Dom. That was the Wind Dom that missed every 50-50 to lose to Mochi on Gats twice. Oh my god. Money's a little tight right now. Hey, Dr. Zok, really appreciate it. Very kind of you. Sorry, I missed it while everything else was happening, but it's another 20 in the pot. That's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, withering is a strat. Yeah, it's great until you get hit, and then, you know, not good anymore. She turns illusions for money. Or candy! I like how the illusions really don't look like him when he's got a subtype. Because, you know, at least the regular alien Baltan is almost a gray color. But when he's red and his illusions are blue, it's like, I can tell which one is you. 30,000 on 1,000 eyes and you're gonna lose your mind? Uh, you're, you're losing the bet, right? Oh, no! Okay, so... With all due respect, you people should know! You should know, because you can scum out the rank A. What's his name? Crabnival? You can scum out Crabnival by just letting him walk forward and then you win. 4,000 eyes. Don't take a move in slot 1 that doesn't do damage. That's that's just Monster Rancher. That's just classic Monster Rancher. Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but my boy's up next. You want 22k? Hell yeah. Are you McFreaking kidding me? I'm not McFreaking kidding you. We got my boy. Let's take a look at my boy. And we got Face. Man, his name is just Face. I, I choose I choose this one. That's the one I'm gonna put in. Okay. So might be a rough matchup for my guy. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? Face, the cooler face. Best part about my guy? He's not done. He's still in prime. Maybe subprime. I just fed him the silver peach. Uh, he's got plenty of life left, so I'm going to be able to max him out. He's going to be a very good money making monster. How old is Cool Lobster? Five and a half? Something like that? Is Cooler Lobster late bloomer? No, he is normal type. He's a normal life type. I may have figured it out. I may have cracked uh, raising in this game. We'll see. We'll see if I crack competitive play, though. Okay, let's go. Kill attack 44. Pistol, good damage. It's a tail attack. Cool Lobster does 7,000 damage on a 22 force move. Okay. Stress has definitely been destroying our life pans, lifespans until this point, and definitely has. Okay, game number two. Recubus' critical attacks seem pretty good. I just don't want him to be using that uh, the Blizzard Hammer. Doesn't need to. Doesn't need to do Blizzard Hammer damage. Oh, he goes for it. It hits anyway. <laughs> 5,000 damage, no crit necessary. GG's. 
<laughs> okay. Well, cooler lobster moves on. <laughs> Holly's just like, yeah, I don't know, man. Kaiju just lived to be four. Well, meanwhile, they're stressed out of their minds. Oh my god, he won the big four, big three too. No, he didn't win against the big lobster though. Zanza, thank you for entering the tournament. GG's, my friend. Kolochi and Mr. Bad. Oh, it's Mr. Bad. Don't know how to manage all the different stats, and I'm here like when Metron's like, would you like some coffee today? Me coffee in this game is great. Coffee in this game works just like um, smoke snakes do. So that means that when you already have a decent amount of fear... Prediction is live, by the way. It's not good for raising fear from zero. It's very bad for that. Also, JP, sorry I missed your donation earlier. Thank you for the $30. Very kind of you. I was going to donate five bucks every time I want a match, but I won't be able to stay for the whole thing, so this should cover it. <laughs> Man, just like, yeah, I'm just going to win six matches. No problem. Hell yeah. Thanks, JP. Confidence, you love to see it. Feel like you're on something watching this? Yeah, it's uh, it's certainly something. Okay, so this Mochi did not get rid of its power tax. How did you guys bet in this? You went 87% on the Mr. Bad. Okay, I see. Mochi is winning. He's done two damage. Oh, ooh, the pulverize. There's tech removal on this one, yep. Very easy to get rid of stuff. Okay, Mr. Bad wins. Really leaning on your kaiju, so I figured giving him an item that boosts his fear. And he likes might work out. So... Yeah, so the way that uh, coffee works is it boosts your fear by 40% at the cost of 20% uh, penalty to your spoil. So if your monster isn't very fearful at all, it's just a straight cut to your loyalty. If your monster has a good amount of fear, but you know you still have way more uh, spoil than you have fear, it's a good way to like even them up. Oh, it hits the bullet? He's extremely skilled. I'm, I'm curious if coffee like raises stress or anything though. Four stat meta, 40k seems like it could be cool for UKMR. Four stat meta would be 35,000. Early to be sure how good it, your meta would be. So I think 35k is probably cool because it still allows you to boost your stats at 12k if you want, right? Maybe if that's the case, then maybe we do go 40k. Overdrive is going to make stat caps weird. Ooh, it's the licking. Do stats not increment in smaller increments? I don't know. Um, we don't really know. Also, Mochi's going to win game two. Dodge everything. He's like the future on this Santa. <laughs> Wish I could draw. Now I want to put Red King in a Santa hat and beard. Okay, so a thing that we haven't actually talked about yet. And I kept many, meaning to mention it, and it, you know, it just kept slipping my mind. I will be drawing the winner of this tournament. I'm going to be drawing it in, I don't know if it's MS Paint or whatever, but I'll make it look nice enough. And uh, we'll be uh, submitting it to Gamers Outreach as part of their monster drawing contest. And I think the, the new go-karts they're making will have the, the art on them. So. Oh shit, hits the bite at 70. He has a 70% chance to hit move? Oh my god. Not actual go karts, but that's what they call the, the little stations. Which is an adorable name. Fight again? No. Okay, so, Mr. Bad. When's that one 2 0? We got Duck On and Screamo. <laughs> Okay, good names. And is this the duck in Burden? I haven't actually seen 
the duck and bird on yet. It is. Oh, and a Melba? Damn, I am so happy I unlocked these two monsters on stream right now because we would not have been able to have this match at all. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. So, I have not seen either of these monsters. Oh my god! That's gross looking, what the hell? Oh no. The, the cheek pouches being like so bulbous and red is nasty. And they look like veiny, kind of. Okay, prediction is live. The sacks are filled with poison. If I had a nickel. Uh, uh, uh. Screamo looks like bootleg Gaitan. Oh, Gigan. Yeah, that's not Gaitan. I got that Monster Rancher brain. Circus Bird versus Emo Bird. I think this game is a dream and I'm asleep. Patch is like losing his shit. He's like, I don't know what is happening. You have Melba. I want to raise a Melba. I want to raise both of these monsters. Oh, it's the power one, yeah. So Birdon's got good intelligence gains, but his power attacks look really good. Birdon dive. Ah, uh, he goes for it. Misses. Tries to poison him. Oh, the flying ray gets zapped. The fact they like get up to fall down again is very Monster Rancher 1. Flashy, yeah. That look cool. So that was the thing that a lot of people were complaining about when they saw the very, very first footage of the battles. They're like, man, this looks so crappy. It's just guys in suits slapping each other. And like, that's charming, but it also does get old, right? And so, I'm happy to see that there's, like, much more cinematic attacks. There's nothing nothing quite like the tanker toss, though. I don't think I'm going to see anything that beats that. Kick rocks is good, and the, the tanker toss is up there for me. Should beat? What the... F just flash on the screen? Okay. They're going wild with these. White off. Kicking. This is the kicking. This is it again. Ooh. Melbanic Ray. Better Don dive. So, Dakon has not hit a single attack. I feel very bad for Birdon. That's the kick in. Gives him a chance to get back into it. He's got that fast guts rate. The pack. Yo, one hit kill? Okay. Damn, I got no idea how much damage these moves do. That's sick. Did it steal health? Man, I was enamored by the move. I didn't even notice. No prediction for damage roll? No. <laughs> okay. Airborne shot. Oh. Hits him with a carpet bomb. He's still in it, though. He's got the guts lead. And we saw Screamo can die in a single hit here, so Duck On has a potential. Bite off at 32? Does like bite off his head? That's terrifying. Just for the kicking and misses. Both got about 40 guts. So we know we can kill him with the peck. So you can obviously kill him with everything else. Oh, it hits the bite off? Damn, he just ate his heart. That did seven. Holy fuck. Oh my god. That has so much damage. Kolochi, thank you for the ten. Very kind of you. Oh my god. Bite off also steals health. They're... See, I'm telling you, Power Bird on seems sick. Just like how a Power Kanagon seems sick. Okay, the bird's gonna take that. Water Maloon? 
and Haraku. I haven't seen the watermelon set on yet. What? What is that? Okay. Fresh melons. Damn, yeah, there's a lot of monsters I haven't seen yet. <laughs> that's, oh, that's off putting. That's gross. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like here? Hate this melon thing, but you love it at the same time. The uh, I like the colors, you know, like I like the theme, but the fact that it's a guy in a suit and like it's like all wavy and gross and like fleshy, ugh, not into it. But yeah, it is a very cool guy. Gotta sleep because you're up early. Good luck with the tourney and fundraising. Thank you, Patch. Appreciate it. Thanks for always tuning in as long as you can on these late nights for you. Okay. Here we go. Why can't I? Oh, there we go. Oscillatory wave charge. Miss 80%. That's unfortunate. Good damage knockback. There you go. Haraku's in the lead. And he... <laughs> That'll do it. Kills him. Big old chomp out of that water balloon. Okay. Game number two. Is defense valuable in this game? We don't know. Anyone who tells you... I've been in like other people's streams and people are like, Yeah, defense is great now. And it's like, how do you know? Why are you telling people this? You know, like, I'm not above telling people misinfo either. Like, I definitely have a couple of times, but like... What are you talking about? How do, how do you know? It's with the laser. It's a bit of damage. Oh, he doesn't even like that. He's like, oh no. Well, 82%. Water Maloon just has like nothing for defense. And he's dead. Defense is definitely a stat. It definitely is one of the six stats you can raise. Haraku loves Melon, apparently so. So, the Skull Gomer is going to take that one. What do we got next? Oberon and Gomoso. We saw Oberon on stream the other day. Not yesterday, the day before. I shoot laser. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Can I go home? Can I still go home? Uh, okay, what's it? Oberon, yeah. And then the other one was Gomaso. All you can predict with what you feel is accuracy is Kanagan being high tier if not top tier. I think Kanagan is going to be one of the better monsters. It's possible he's not, but... Okay, prediction is live. It's possible he's not, but, you know, from what we know about Monster Rancher and his techs and his, like, what he's capable of doing, I do think it'll be hard to find, like, a ton of monsters better than him. Yeah, Kanagan, uh, Baltan... Burdon seems sick, but like, I don't know. I know Burdon's got the fast guts, right? He'll be a great subtype. Yeah, I think for most monsters, if they have the counting gun subtype, that will be like the metal in subtype for them. 
Voltan has to ditch illusions. That's the that's the big one. There's a lot of things in Monster Rancher that are fantastic for human control that just don't work at all for player control. Or for uh, AI control. What's max stats in this game? 12,000. It's the highest a stack can go. Got faith in Red King. Seems like he could, has some pretty nasty techs. Yeah, he does. Humans versus players. How about Nova? Um, I haven't seen enough of Nova, to be honest. I think Nova's going to be difficult to raise, but he seems like he's got some bullshit. I think Tank Nova is actually going to be very good. Or, like, better than Speedy Nova. I think with how often you can poison people... Flat Chested Maid, thank you for the follow. Weren't you following before? Nova's a switch killer? It is. Does Rampage reduce lifespan? I assume so. I assume it does. Should I flash this and mate? No, they, they're always commenting on this stuff. Either way, welcome. I wonder why Giant Light is never outright called Ultraman. Maybe just for style? Yeah, Oberon takes game one. Game two. Seems like they're still learning who the Ultras are. They don't know Zero's name until I, he told them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> he unfollowed a bunch of channels. That's pretty funny. Oh, that's a sick move. Great Rotational Strike is a really funny name for that, though. It's a shame about Rampage's reducing lifespan. I rolled a Kaiju with insanely low anger tolerance and had to let it Rampage eight times to increase its anger gauge enough to raise it properly. I feel like there's ways around that. There's traits and stuff you can give it. I don't think anything is like that unplayable. But for example, on Cooler Lobster, he has not Rampage. It's five years old. Doesn't lose anything aside from the weeks it's gone. Oh, that's interesting. And that's a roll assault? That is a roll assault. Okay, so Oberon can't get the kill, but he does get the win. Okay, so I'll pay that out. Who do I have to fight next? Oh, I gotta fight Mr. Bad? Ooh. That's gonna be a tough one. Oberon wins that 2-0. We got I Dropkick and the whole circus up next. Another Pororo sub, eh? We've seen some spooky monsters so far today. We haven't seen the spookiest one, though. There's one coming up. And, uh... There's at least one coming up. That's terrifying. Okay. Oh, very similar stats. Let's, uh... Hold the prediction here. Time is it? It is 8 o'clock, and we are almost halfway through. Got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 more matches, and then we'll be halfway through. So. We'll be done by about midnight, I do believe. Long-ass tournament stream.
Don't expect him to do much, but just happy to be here. Pretty similar. You can definitely do it. Damn, people got big bets on the wind dom. Is that based on Proro? It is. Okay, here we go. Oh. <laughs> He's got a frantic beam. Oh, it keeps going. Okay. All right. Had to get in with the Zip Zap Zooey. Light Orb Strike. A little bit of damage there. Eye Probes. Get yeah, Probed. Eye Probes is an extremely accurate tech that doesn't do much damage. Wind on, yeah. <laughs> Go for the frantic beam again. Dude, I love that last one. It's so unnecessary. Ridiculing eye. Trying to flex on him. This is it, though. Go for the light orb strike. And this is it again. Reduce opponent's speed. Oh, now's your chance. Now's your chance for the spin shot. 45%. Ah, oh, he hits him. Oh my god. How much damage does it do? It's enough to kill. 13,000 on the crit. The audience is dead, man. You got him. Finally got him with one. Okay, game number two. Oh god, he's dead. Draw the camera angles during the fights. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. Oh, he hits it again at 33%. <laughs> The round opening frantic beam. He gets him. GG's. So yeah, another fun thing about this game is that the monsters don't start in, in slot 4. They start in between slot 2 and 3. So slot 2 and 3 are your instant kill moves. Not so much slot 4, not so much slot 1. Okay. Rip eye drop kick. Next up we got Beluga and Drog. I'm really surprised there's so few names that, like, more than one person has used. That was fun. GG's. Look at that. Macho with uh, the good sportsmanship. At least one pro <laughs> window is doing well. Yeah, he's actually landing his moves. He's using up all the luck from the other one. The chips keep getting stolen by birds and dinosaurs. What if I told you they're getting stolen by the same thing? But dinosaurs are birds? That's what I'm saying. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like here? We're almost done round one. So we'll have uh, most of the big boys left after this. Does that mean dino nuggies are actually dino nuggies? It's true, yeah. Okay, 94% on Drog. He is the favorite to win. He definitely is. Well, a strong punch at 60% is... <laughs> okay. Monster found a worm. What'd it do? You go on Expedition. You can get yourself a bird on now. The Summer Expedition, specifically. Bird on will attack you because you have a worm. The bird on has incredibly shit stats. You beat it, and then you get the bird on feather. Punch. Beluga's living that one. Hey, Beluga, what you got? You haven't done anything yet. Electric tail. It's a little bit. Oh, but he's got he's got electric absorption. Are you serious? Oh my god. That's a billion to one matchup. That makes me think somebody's cheating. That makes me think somebody uh, saw who their opponent was and then changed their monster. Totally possible it's not, but it's very funny. That'd be very uncool. It would be very uncool, which is why I don't think it's actually true. 
the Red King wins. The anti Ella King build, yeah. So, that's probably just because it lowers your speed. Well, I guess lowering your speed is not that big of a deal when you got no speed to begin with. Uh, okay, so let me update some of these brackets. Trog wins that one. Whole Circus wins that one. We got Destroyer and Beware Pinecones up next. I think Destroyer is... Um, Tangents Monster, right? Destroyer! Did I spell it wrong? Oh, it's Destroyster. That's an even better name. That's a sick name. Hell yeah. 12k speed. Let's go, baby. And who's he fighting? Beware pine cones. Wait, is this... <laughs> Oh my god, is this a Garamon? Do I finally get to see Garamon in action? Oh, it's not. Oh, shit! Okay. That name still makes sense. We got the Christmas Tree Golza. Okay, prediction is live. Destroyster, like clan. You're so dead. <laughs> You're gonna get killed by Christmas. Look at this. This is the war on Christmas. We've seen it. Predictions live, what do you like? It's about 50 50 right now. Just tiny bets. Sixty sixty four percent? About 65% on Beware Pine Cones. Is he gonna scrounge him? Cocoon Bomb is pretty good in this matchup, I think. Golza seems to have like a pretty normal Guts Rape. Underdoggin. Goes for another Cocoon Bomb. Hits that one. And he's at 15 Guts. That's like a minimum roll on that, I think. Sonic Headbutt's gonna miss at 21%. If the monster could just uh, roll down the moves over and over again, I think Scrounge is definitely the, the play here. It's another punch. Oh, there he's got Nesta. Okay. Seems healing techs always heal. Yeah, they just heal for much less than what we're used to. Oh my god. The lockout begins. And it's 29 guts. So that's interesting, because that move normally only withers 25 at max. So the the withering boost actually seems pretty substantial. I wonder if it's just plus minus 5, like an additional 5, or if it's a percentage. Destroyster wins game number 1. Twelve K speed's quite good. Coon bomb opener, sixty-seven percent. Pinecones only needs to land one attack. Though. That's the thing. And the cocoon bomb I'm gonna hit. Pinecones having trouble getting out of the way, even though Distressor only has three K skill. Goes for the claw, misses. Destroyster needs to get out of slot one. That's where where Pinecones wants to be. No, 27% chance to hit is not very good, but when you only need one hit, it's not too bad. Cocoon Bomb is withering. Seems to do a lot more damage than anticipated for withering tech. It's got really good numbers. It's got really good numbers for 22 guts. That's why I think a combination of that and Scrounge is kind of insane. Kind of gun having no intelligence text in slot one and two bites a little, yeah. I mean, he's got uh, 
what are they called? Appeal and Nest Egg, but I don't know if that counts. So Golza doesn't land an attack. We haven't seen censorship on the names. There, it stops you beforehand. It just will say you cannot enter this name when you're trying to make the monster name in the first place. So there is censorship on certain words, but it stops you preemptively. Okay, so Kanagon is going to win. Look at that. Top tier privilege. What do we got next? Hair suit and uh, man. <laughs> okay, good names. Yeah, there's a come lord. Oh my god! I missed this five minutes ago on holy angle with the 100 bits or the 100 dollars. Keep saying, keep saying biddies, but I mean actual real life human dollars. Thank you, man. Very kind. Very, very nice of you. I'm sure the kids will appreciate it. Um, okay, hair suit was what I was looking for. So that means we got to be close to 750, eh? Let me check to see if it... Uh... Yo, which one is that? Yeah, we're getting close. Oh, baby. Man. Okay. Is that what Monster Rancher 1 plant was like? Um, kind of. It has shades of Monster Rancher 1 plant. Scrounge so far, I think, is probably the most broken move in the game that I've seen so far. I haven't seen the Ella King uh, in my list until now. That's cool. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Worse as in more broken, not worse as in less good. So, Monster Rancher 1 plant in AI versus AI is kind of goofy. It's a very strong power monster, but kind of shitty intelligence monster. The AI attack more kind of gone would be S tier, definitely. Probably. Yeah, hair suit's a good name. A slot one power is is to get on the board. That's fair. Give yourself options if you can't land anything else. And yeah, it doesn't seem like they attack like they do in Monster Rancher two, like over and over and over again. So it's not as detrimental to have like one off stat, like basic tech, just to secure a hit. Got kind of gun fever and cocoon toss. Oh, he's got cocoon toss, but not cocoon bomb. Is the one percent heat rate the appeal? That man's healing. Oh my god, they can heal when they're at full health. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that sucks. I think it's worth keeping since the most accurate attack down. Recovery AI worse than Monster Rancher 2. Is it just hoping it wins on hit percent with that? Like, I don't know what the plan is. Kill is just a toss. Most accurate attack had 37% chance to hit. Yeah, 12k uh, definitely will be like the benchmark you have to hit. We're not sure if form... I don't think anyone's tested to see if form boosts past 12k yet. Or if it's the cap like it is in Monster Rancher 2. Life tie strat? Yeah, exactly. He keeps going for the flying kick. So, you know, he's, he's cool in my books. Man's not doing anything.
Oh, he hits the scrounge. Is that on PC? It's only on Switch. Oh, that's probably it. He got scrounged once. GG's. Man! Mike List is going to be fun to raise once you get this game. I like Mike List. I think he's got some good techs. Is it, even if you don't hit and we draw, you won the guts fight? Yeah. Speed team super strong in this game? Yeah. yeah people, Mike List is the horn guy? Yeah. Yeah, people are like, yeah, defense is great. And it's like, I don't know. Have you seen speed? Speed's still busted. Yeah, so, man, it's going to take that one to, oh, BB great and long, long, man? Okay. <laughs> oh, there's some good names in this. Wait, how do I get to this? Okay, this one's got higher skill and lower speed. Uh, it's got a higher skill and higher speed. Yeah, so we can go with the better one. And Long Long Man. Yeah, Kujiro was saying that tournaments in this game take way longer to do than in Monster Rancher 2DX. And I was like, yeah, I believe it, but also, like, we're still going to run tournaments. But holy moly, it takes forever to run stuff in this. I hope this section of the game gets some QOL, QOL adjustments as the game goes on. They can just patch it whenever they want. So hopefully, it looks like it's selling incredibly well. So hopefully they give it some changes, you know? Oh, JP is yours, man. Nice. We all need to promise to use shorter names on our monsters. What they need to do is just allow you to search with uh, without typing in the whole thing case sensitive. 96% on long, long man. Your man. The immediate run forward into walk backwards. Ten of discharge. That'll be it. He hits it. Some of these are very uh, mismatched, you know. But your man. Let's fight again. The one percent. Ella King has some great techs. I think Ella King's pretty good. Bolt Storm! Zap. Okay, so that shit just did 10k free? Wish there was random arena. I'm gonna swap out the arena after round one. We'll swap it out every round. We're almost done round one. It's half the matches. Dapper Dan and Sushi up next. Oh my god, we got a Raki? Hell yeah. Sushi? Sushi is... Is Sushi trained? Why? Why am I locked out? <laughs> what is this? No, it's been trained. It's been trained. I just didn't see its stats. Okay, start battle. This is trained, you're going very slow. No problem. No worries. I didn't actually take a look at the numbers, I just saw how big the bars were. Uh, so that goes to the Ella King. Prediction is live. Toaster servers can't keep up. 
you're new. It's all good to be new. Thank you for uh, thank you for entering a monster in this tournament. Yeah, this is the the Raki subbreed. He's sick. Sushi's, sushi will win. Let's go. Hell yeah. What do we got on the bets? 90 to 1 odds. You know, that sounds about right. Oh, we get smooched on. Push him back again. Get out of here. Oh. He got shot. Should have put your shitty sevens here for fun. That's what I was saying. Everyone should just enter their fun monsters. That's what most people did. Wolf of Wall Street looking Dada. Oh my god. I got the hiccups now. I need more water. Okay, game two. Hit him with the glow sticks. Hit him with the rave. He's going for it. Look at the dance. Get him. Ah, it misses. How do you dodge that? Do I have a fair monster in UKMR so far? Um, what's my favorite so far? I think my favorite main breed is probably King Joe. He has to dodge the stick. He can dodge the stick, he can dodge the ball. King Joe's probably my favorite main breed. Oh my god, the warp shot. The blink with the blicky, you know? Yes. Dodge an 86? It's not a 90, but he's trying his best. We'll get him next time, Sushi. We got Emerald, like Agassi? And big Indiana Jones. That's uh, Patches, no, not Patches monster, that's uh, Shell's monster. More goals as your monster is a monster you raise for adventuring so you can get more unlocks. This is funny. Yeah, it's it's not a serious tournament. Wait, does that mean we haven't seen? Uh... Oh wait, is Kezuru? Is that Sarad's monster? Is Sarad's monster the absolute last monster? Oh my god, is it really? Okay. Uh, prediction is live. Oh, yours is S card good? Oh, okay. So, uh, guys, look at that. 12k across four stats. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mixed attacker. Here we go. We got 90s across the board. Chance for me to pay money. For the hyper glare, he hits it. Good withering on that. That's for the headbutt, though. That's gonna take it. 3000 damage headbutt. Is that a robot dino? <laughs> sort of. They're all sort of robot dinos. That's the biggest Indiana Jones. It is. Second biggest I've seen. Does it mean mixed attackers can be a thing now? Mixed attackers could always be a thing. It's the goal is a claw. He killed him. Shells didn't even ma manage stress right, but his monster likes juice. That makes it easy. Okay, big Indiana Jones is going to win that one. Oh, no. 
I am going to show you guys uh, the other monster in this one first. We're going to go with Demo Daniel first. We saw Demo Daniel on stream the other day, right? It's one of the monsters I had to fight, I think. Wait, which one is this? Is it really... It's a tyrant? Do you have a backup? Okay. What's your backup? Hey, Golden with the raid! Yeah, Zephyr, just let me know what your backup is. Fishy Metro? Hell yeah. Sorry about that, man. We'll get everything unlocked. It's, like... Tyrant is kind of a... Uh, long unlock in the first place. But it's nice that it's the only monster that has been affected so far. Okay, here we go. Here's Escar good. So, just so you guys know, I beat Escar good. And now, but I didn't beat this one. Okay. <laughs> Who do you like? Is this the first Gondar? Yeah, it's the first Gondar we've had all day. Kind of a strong monster. He's, he's kind of powerful. Just, just tiny bit powerful. You can't even battle monsters you haven't unlocked yet? You cannot. Give him a poor betting decision. Gondar looks a bit like a nightmare. Gondar is one of the most terrifying monsters, for sure. We got 30,000 on Escar Good and 300 Fishy Metro. 100 to 1 bet. Here we go. Is he with the Ice Claw or the Ice Knuckle? Oh, it goes from the Metron Punch. This is it. There's the Ice Claw. The game doesn't know what to do. GG's. Game 1. Looks like some unholy creature made in Spore. Gondar does look like a Spore monster. But like, he kind of looks like one of those when like someone's trying to make like Homer Simpson or something. And like, it doesn't look like the thing it's supposed to. But that's like the best facsimile you can make. Even the hands, the hands legitimately look like one of the Spore monster hands. Converse opener? What do we got? Low stick dance, 26% chance to hit. He dodges it. The colors make him even more spore. The Metron colors. It's like, I will not talk to you. I will not battle you in the marketplace of ideas. He hits the Metron punch, he's got one... Ah. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Fish Metro is still in it. He's not down yet. Hell yeah, hit him with the punch again. Put on a show, even if you're gonna lose. Do your best. Let's the cool blow. Let's the cool, cool blow. Okay. It's like how a rig cubist has a move called cooling gas. And it's like, that doesn't sound... dangerous. It's not like freezing gas, it's cooling gas. It's just, it's like being put in a refrigerator. He's okay. Okay, so, you guys have now seen the best monster in the tournament. It took until the second last round for it to happen. But it happened. Beam Venger and Kezuu up next.
Prediction is live. Who do you like? Give me one second. Take a look at the stats. There we go. Low defense on both of them. High offense on both of them. Who's going to hit first? So I'm not sure how I feel about this game, but I will say that I really love how powerful a lot of the attacks feel when they hit. Yeah. Can't wait for Nash to draw S car good. That's going to be terrifying. We'll do it, but like... Tesla Dawn? Yeah. Kazoo. What do we got on the bets? 84%. I'm going to tell us, Don. Here we go. Anti-Kaiju bullet. Doesn't have any intelligence, though. So that doesn't do much of anything. Makes him angry, though. He goes for the Telzdon drill and misses it. He really is warm, man. Nash draws Gary the Snail. Plus, you all deserve to see Tyrant. I know what Tyrant looks like. We just, you know, haven't unlocked him yet. Oh, it goes for another one? Misses. Doom Venger. Making plays. The Rigid Core Iron Fist Rocket Uppercut. Wow, that boot did a lot. Pushes him back. What do we got coming up? Another Anti-Kaiju Bullet. Ooh, this is at 69. Ambush at 52. 50 50 on this. Does Beam Venture get out of the way? He does. Kazoo is out of it. Beam Venture wins game one. Goes for the rigid iron fist rocket. Get him with the fist missile. Put him down. Ambush is such a bad tech. You keep saying that. I believe it. Beam Venger takes game one. That animation length, that's a... Uh, that's a way to steal it. That was like a seven or eight second attack. I like how Sevenger's eyes shift to expression. Where's Gina Light Sevenger next? Yeah, that one looks cool. Hit him with the flattening X. Here comes the ambush! Oh my god, Kazuo cannot land anything. Kabuki attack? Kabuki attack's one of my favorites. He goes for it. Bop, bop, bop. Gets him. Headbutt. Let's get the headbutt. Does a little bit of damage. Because he was still building up those guts after the first miss. Didn't land anything in tournaments either. This is so unfortunate. He goes for it again. He's still alive. That literally takes like... Wait, that was like 8 seconds. That's insane. That's actually some flattening X shit. Oh, GG's. <laughs> There's no time left. <laughs> <laughs> Just to run down the clock. That's it. Oh my god. He knows the strap. Beam Venger takes it. That's a pretty big payout. Six to one. Okay. So with that, we are finally done round one. We have seen every single monster fight. That means half the monsters are eliminated. We are... Basically, the length it took us to get to here is the length it'll take us to get to the end of the tournament. Ho oh, scares you? There's a lot. There's a, a lot of good monsters in this. And a couple of the monsters that, you know, not, not to offend anybody, but a couple of the monsters who are just kind of like people's story mode monsters and stuff are gone at this point. Oops, I didn't change it. We'll change it for the next one. So there's not a ton of story mode monsters left. There's a few. The Withering? Does uh, Big Pants have, what's it called, Negative Wave or something? Nightmare Wave? The the no you when you get withered? Okay. 
No, oh, GG's. That's game one. Need to see some more 9% hits? I think so. Just submitted your first monster you got, still learning the game. Well, I, yeah, this is completely for fun. The pistol smack is hilarious every time, it's great. Haven't gotten the know you word cookie yet. It's good, it's a good one. It's the warp shot, or the zip zap. White seems good, man. That shit is accurate. Okay. That's gonna go to Mr. Big Pants. Sack and Tomato Town up next. Can't believe I gotta fight Mr. There's a Mr. Big and a Mr. Big Pants. Oh wait, what's the... Is it Mr. Big? Mr. Bad. Mr. Bad and Mr. Big Pants. Tomato Town. Too many names to remember, man. I must mess it up. What are we doing? Go to, uh, let's go to the beach. Mr. Bad Pants will be your child. That man's got bad pants. Let's start a prediction here. Who do you like? Beach episode. Shark of the day with the $25. Holy. Thank you, Shark. How have you been? That's very generous of you. I do apologize for being late on these responses. I had to set this whole thing up through Stream out through Streamlabs, and I don't use Streamlabs anymore, so it's like the only thing I'm using it for, and I'm not getting alerts for it. Like sound wise to me tomato sauce spill KO on the pants oh no you're doing well hell yeah glad to hear it okay what do we got here shark and you tend to lurk that's true we got uh, very small bets people lost all their money we got exactly one bet on sack can he hit the 1% if he does he might win Tells on drill, 1%. He goes for it. We've only seen one attack at less than 10% hit so far. Tomato Town takes it. Game 2. Did I miss the shark donor earlier? I, I just thanked them for it. I did miss it, but I thanked them for it already. The 2001 odds on chips? Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't, whatever, you lost 10 chips. I'd take that bet. Spinning charge? That's such a funny move, too. He just, like, lands right on his head and, like, does, like, an endo. Oh, gets tuned. I think that's it. I don't like getting tuned. The mochi bullet? Mochi bullet seems like a good time. And it can burn? Satisfaction in this game seems pretty good. Okay, I don't know how those 10 ships are going to be split up, but uh, because 13 of you bet, there's only 10 ships to go around. Next up, we got Zephyr and Zoomborg. Actually, we haven't seen Zoomborg fight, right? Was Zoomborg the one that had to fight the. The Comp Town. Oh, 
Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? Zumborg doesn't need the 10,000 intelligence. Does Zumborg have the push kill? Gemstar is our hero. Gemstar could win it. No, he doesn't? Oh, no. Yeah, well. That would have been a guaranteed win. 11,000 on Zumborg, eh? Pretty good chance to hit. Only needs to hit once. Vomit on his opponent already. Zephyr Spaghetti. Goes for the converse. Very risky guts down attempt, but it hits and does the one damage. That's all it takes. Only needs to do one damage. We got a coffee table kill. Peeled Bemstar time. Yeah, he's he's kind of... The flesh tone's kind of silly. The fact that it's not a mix with Mochi is really fun. Like... That's so weird. We got light bullets at 30. Why is it? Doesn't land though. Energy bullets! Oh, hits that one! That'll be it. The Bemstar goes down. One life to live. It's not enough. Spring Bemstar? I think it's just called Mochi Bemstar, right? Or is it Spring Bemstar? Because there's the Mochi Sevenger, right? Is it Spring? I don't actually know. It's very obviously a, a mochi mix, though, right? Oops. Okay, we got... Xavier and Gustav Max again. I don't know why I said again. We've seen all these monsters before. I'm like, oh yeah, there's Gustav Max. We've seen him. But we've seen everybody. Couldn't send a pick a spring Bemstar on discard because it got auto flagged as profane, really? What is happening here? Yeah, Discord thinks it's too hot. It's too sexy. All those flesh folds. Okay, game one. Here we go. Let's get a prediction up. Prediction is live. Who do you like? I wonder if you can only get the seasonals during the corresponding season. Well, it's not spring, so... I don't know. My money got stolen by a Doomer Shrimp with glow sticks. Previously unsaid sentences. No one in history has ever said that before. And you should feel special. Xavier shouldn't be here? Did I mess that up? Who did Xavier fight? Paul Penguin, yeah. Paul Penguin should have won. Oh, you know what happened is I put them in backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it should be Paul Penguin. Yeah, Polly D. Polly P won. You can't skip this though, right? There's no way to just exit out. Okay, so we're gonna close the prediction while we wait for this to play out. Actually, no, you know what? Best of one, here you go. Your chips are on the line. You bet, you might as well try minus. There's only like six buttons on this controller. Like, I've tried them all. There's not too many. Halftime show match? Yeah, there you go. Exhibition. Trying to swirl on him. 
Mochi seems good in this game. Mochi Bullet specifically seems pretty good. But I don't know too much about the numbers on its text otherwise. Not 3G Beam. Misses it. Hip attack lands. Gustav Max is going to take it. Gustav Max takes it at the very end. One hit. That's enough. Doesn't even do any damage. Okay, Gustav Max is going to take that. Fight again? No. We got Paul Penguin. Gustav Max. Okay, let's try this again. Prediction is live. Who do you like? This stream earlier than usual? Yeah, I did. Like three hours earlier. Sorry about the obnoxious reminder. Just put a ton of effort in this guy and you're real proud of him. No, no problem. The three max stats is pretty hype. Woke up at eight, missed some things on the stream. You definitely did. You missed half of the stream. Okay, what do we got? Wow, people liking Paul in this one, eh? Okay. It's the Mochi Headbutt. The one damage. Poly P down to 9999. Oh, and the Mochi Bolt. That's going to do a little bit, but it's going to power him up. I'm sorry, with a ton of guts, goes for the tackle, misses at 45%. Another Mochi Headbutt. Mochi Headbutt in this game is really fun. He's so wiggly. And he's also so dead. M-Star takes game one. I like how the shadows on like most of these textures are still just like baked in on the texture. Like, you can really tell on the mochi. He looks like he's got a rash. He's got diaper rash. Okay. Game number two. Speed reduc reduction is so cool. Yeah, what's it? Lethargy Ray is what? Like minus power and, and intelligence? Or like one of the. Might be one of Baltan's techs. Lowers power and intelligence. There's one that lowers like speed and skill. Dude shimmering in the summer sun. Yeah, that's uh, quite a bit of bloom here. Like Julek Blaze. Yeah, Julek Blaze is sick. All Penguin too strong. Taking these hits like a champ. He's about to get tuned though. Oh, 84 missed. Not quite a 90. Hits the Bem Star tackle. That's gonna be it. Gustav only using his power attacks, unfortunately. You can get rid of the power attacks though, you know? As much as he's being an idiot. You decided to put him on. Not you necessarily, but like I don't know if it's your monster or not. But like if your monster's making bad decisions in this game, it's mostly on you. You know, they can still be stupid. But you have a lot of play with like how stupid your monster is. Okay, give me one second, let me update scores. I have not been doing that. Okay, so Salarymon and Boomerang Sonic up next.
I think I'm gonna have to brew some coffee. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna have to brew some coffee before the stream's over. Maybe I'll take a break in like an hour or so, and we'll play the the video again for people who weren't here, so they know what they're donating for. And I'll go make some coffee while that's happening. Such a cool idea for a charity. I'm very happy people reached out to me about it. They actually reached out to me about it last year as well. But, um... Oh, what the... I spelt it wrong? Oh, I did spell it wrong. But I was doing something. I was too... Too swamped in work or something. I almost did it again. I don't want to spell boomerang. Okay. Prediction. Be live in just a sec once we see their stats. There you go. Predictions live. Make your bets. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Oops. You know what? I'm going to kill the prediction on this one. We're just going to play it out. Intended discharge, the one hit kill. Gotta get moving, you had a good time. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Pokemon Unite stream when? Maybe soon. I I played a little bit, and like I enjoy it, but it's not I don't know, we'll see. Let's see. I wanna do I might do a primal rage stream. I want to start entering Primal Rage tournaments, so maybe we can have a Primal Rage stream sometime soon. Know a lot of people like old fighting games. Rescue Ranger, thank you for the follow. I missed that one like 20 minutes ago. If you're still here, sorry. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. Also, the Big Wooloo. I don't remember if I said anything about your 40, but it was very kind of you. Again, I apologize for missing a lot of these. It's an issue with um, Streamlabs, because I don't use Streamlabs for anything except for this, and so I'm just not getting the notifications. They're popping up on stream, which is great, because everyone can see how generous and sick nasty you people are. But uh, it's not coming through on, on my end a lot of the time. So I apologize about that. Anyway, Salarimon's going to take that. Plasma and Metalner. We're 15 away from our goal, by the way. If someone wants to, you know, help out. Boomerang Sonic made me think immediately... Oh my god, what happened to my my voice there? No, it's not the joke, but Boomerang Sonic immediately made me think of Guile. Yeah, that's, that's the combo. That's the... you do one or the other. Primal Rage tourneys would be super fun to watch. I probably won't be the one running them, but I will definitely be competing in them. Uh, okay, what was I looking for? Sorry. I'm lost. We got Plasma and Metalner. I compete in an old fighting game that came out for DOS back in 1994 called One Must Fall 2097. It's like a robot fighting game, and the cool thing about it is that you have your robot that you have to pick to fight with, but also you have to pick a pilot for the robot. And so the pilot changes the stats, like how fast they move around the screen, how much damage they do, how hard it is to stun them, all that stuff. So it's a very dynamic game. You need to just kind of like have pretty solid game feel. Like you have to just understand how things work in the game. It's not just like, here's your combo, learn your combo, you're good to go. There is some of that, but for the most part, like, that combo only works on like three of the characters. Game came out the same year as uh, Street Fighter Super Turbo. It's really crazy to think about how different it is. He's Boomerang Sonic because he's like a beanbag Sonic, and also I got him from the words corn dog. Nice. Hail 
Look at the front butt on that robot. You got cheeks. Okay. Prediction is live. I forgot to do it. There we go. You got a tank and you got a speedy. Zanoa with the five. Thank you, Zanoa. Very kind of you. That means we're what? Ten, ten bones away? Ten moose bones away? Yeah. Pretty close. Not much, but it helps. It absolutely helps. Okay, it looks like people are liking Plasma. Metal Nerd does not have a lot of skill, but he does have the ship. 2% calling it. Oh, dude, you know how sick that would be? You're gonna get you're gonna get boined. There you go. Big boing. Goes for the chop at 10? Misses. Gets him again. Eleanor just does not have any guts now. Bone technique. Oh, and the speed's up? Well. He already only had 1%, so I don't know if that does anything. Well, hits the destructive light bullets again. Knows what he's doing. I like how that's Plasma's entire strat. Just hope you hit with the light bullets first, and then just run away. Seems like it could be good, unless it walks forward first, in which case it's really fucked up. Hey, 96 GSR with another 10. Wow, very generous of you. Up to 25, eh? So that means we hit our cap. You know what that means, guys. Time for a little dance party. This Melner's guts rate is slow. It's pretty slow. Hell yeah. Gotta go on a rampage to increase the caps. I think, uh, you know, we still got quite a bit of streaming left. I think we can, I don't know, can we hit a thousand? That'd be crazy. Let me see what I can do. I'm gonna put it up to a thousand. Hopefully we can hit that. And if not, you know, we tried already better than I was expecting so I have I have nothing but love for all you people so to be fair that's 750 plus uh, 20 that has been donated through bits already just go apeshit on my stream setup Eric Andre style the CAD to US rate is rough I know brother I know I, I completely feel that I completely feel that. That's more than generous, though. Okay, who's next? We got Good Goody Bag and I up next. Oops. A lot of different builds in this. I know there's like the tank build and there's the speed build, like the speed glass cannon. But the glass cannons aren't super glass cannon -y, eh? Like a lot of them are playing kind of runaway games. They're not trying to get the kill super early. It's like take a lead and then win more, which is, you know, that's completely valid. Definitely more valid in this than it is in Monster Rancher 2. Okay, but now we got two speedy boys. So they got the same stat spread. The the additional thousand life probably isn't gonna matter. Who did that go to? That last one went to plasma. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like? Who do you like? What do we got? 90% on I? Really? 
Damn, okay. I don't think it's that one-sided at all. You guys are wild. I guess uh, Baltan does have more accurate attacks. So we'll see. We will see. Thirty-eight percent lands it. It's not enough to kill. Oh, he's got the self-repair. That's right. Okay, so he's hanging out. Kind of getting fever. Thirty-four percent. That would kill. I, I assume has some sort of grit on his side. Goes for it a second time. I just like him more. This this strikes me as like a pretty. Well, that's Monster Rancher. Two thirties back to back. It do be like that sometimes. And unfortunately, with uh, only having a single elimination, you only have to get lucky a couple times. Illusions opener. He goes for it. It's going to land, but he basically just gave his opponent a gutsy. That's all that happened there. Same thing here. Okay, so now Kanigan has a 35 guts lead, or 25 guts lead, I should say. Goes for it again, and he dodges this one. Kanigan's gonna have a pretty good shot to hit here. 45% on Scrounge. Ooh, misses it. Still has the guts lead, though. Can still attack. Another Illusions attempt. It's gonna land, but again. Goody Bag's guts regen is faster, so. I is at least landing attacks. He does. He will win on the tie if neither monster lands anything, which is totally possible at this point. Goody Bag needs to push. He's just locked in. He's not in a pushing mood. Kind of got fever. Thirty-four percent. I gives him a shot. Flammable gas miss. And they're stuck up close. Looks like Goody Bag won't push. I don't know what the deal with that is. Is that a uh, personality trait thing? He just walked him to the corner and was like, hey, let me dance around you. Yeah, I don't know how the shoving works, like what triggers it. I assume it has something to do with Monster AI. Oh well, GG's. It's Monster Rancher. If anyone knows, it's Al. Okay, so that goes to I. Next up, we got Long Mochi and Sparky. I like how we have Long Mochi and Long Long Man, or what is it, Long Long Boy? Is Sparky the intelligence tank? It is, right? I like how differentiated the the stats for the breeds are in this game. It feels a lot more like Monster Rancher 1 than Monster Rancher 2. In Monster Rancher 1, if you guys don't know, uh, when it comes to like crossbreeds and like special breeds and stuff, it's, a, it's significantly different than it is in Monster Rancher 2. In Monster Rancher 2, it takes like 60% of the main breed stats and like 40% of the subbreed stats when you're looking at stat gains and that sort of thing. So like a golem and a pixie mixed would have like average power and average intelligence. Uh, in Monster Rancher 1, they just went through every monster like subbreed by subbreed and chose what its stat spread would be. And so regular golem in Monster Rancher 1 obviously has a maximum power gain, but the golem pixie has a minimum power gain and a maximum intelligence gain. So if you wanted to run an intelligence golem really bad, you wanted to run Quake and Big Quake, you would run uh, the Pixie version. Okay, 6k on Sparky, 1.9 on Long Mochi. And this game's like that too. Spring Bumpstar has such kind eyes. Yeah, he looks nice. He looks like a friend. Terminator of Light. That's the heavy tech boost. 
Beastly Claws, critical tech boost. Look at all these boosts. Ah, uh, but you got discharged on. Your speed has dropped. You got paralyzed and you're dead. Man. You're dead. Get some. Is there a story mode for this game? Yep. It's not, uh, so the way Monster Rancher works is it's very kind of like hands-off. There is a tutorial bit, but this game is much more like you just kind of progress through the game at your own rate. It's not like you need to do this to do this to do this to do this to do this. It is linear in its progression, but how you approach that is completely up to you. But there is a story mode. There is stuff to do in single player. Recommend you watch the Long Long Man Japanese ad series. It's hilarious. That sounds familiar. Like, I didn't know it by name, but I feel like I may have seen it before. 66 on the discharge, misses it though. More horn thrusting. Oh, he pushes him back. Thrusting makes me feel good. Hits the flying attack, a little bit of damage there. Flying attack is really funny. As a heavy tech, he's just like, I am gliding now. Super early stream. We've been going for uh, four hours now. Yeah. And uh, we're just like, I don't know, two thirds of the way through. That explains it. Hits the discharge, does not paralyze him this time though. Goes for it again, misses the second one. 12 seconds left on the clock. Long Mochi can still win this. Hits him with the right hook, it's not enough damage. Oh, the self repair actually saves him there. Long Mochi's gonna have a shot. What's he gonna go with though? He needs something stronger than Horn Thrust. He goes for the Horn Thrust, but it's not the right play. He had a shot, but Sparky's going to win it. Sparky wins that 2-0. Very close set. Ho-Ho and Glicken up next. Prediction is live. Who do you like here? It's a little one-sided. I'm not going to lie. It's a tiny bit one-sided. We got some frame drops, but I think we're good now. Okay. Here we go. Everyone liking Ho-Ho. I don't think that's surprising. Weird smoke on the 1%. Oh. Thought that was going to hit. I don't know what the, the miss animations look like yet. And give him a little smooch. And again. There goes all you got. Oh, and the point blank shot. That'll finish him off. If Ho was in Monster Hunter 2DX, his name would be... Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, H. <laughs> yeah. It would... Okay, I'm I'm dropping a lot of frames. Is uh, can you guys still see me? Did my stream drop? Looks like it's okay. It's telling me I'm dropping a ton of frames though. Kiss really dunks on illusions, yeah. Did skip a bit here and there, though. Okay, that makes sense. What am I... Okay, it looks like it's back to normal, though. Okay, next up. We got Cooler Lobster and Mr. Bad. Okay. Here we go. Very similar builds. I don't think I'm gonna get to show off my my build. My build is very anti-speed. 
I gotta fight a tank immediately. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? Extremely slight speed advantage on my side. <laughs> I don't know if that'll matter. I don't think the additional 700 speed makes a difference when your opponent's got 10,000. Is that one all? Was that only game one? Okay, we'll go back. We'll do this. We'll do this and then we'll go back. It takes too long to exit out, so my bad. Says I'm dropping a shit ton of frames again. Yo, what is with this? Like, what's with my internet? Yeah. This is it says it's still dropping just frames constantly. Am I still just dropping frames? Can you guys see me? Like is it okay? M me and my tournament unluck falls through the next one. Yeah. Now the stream bugged out. Okay. Give me one second. I am going to... Yeah, okay. I can't even stop my stream. Bro, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, OBS, what are you doing? The fuck is this? Okay. Okay. It's still so bad. Okay, is this better now? I think it's better now. Reload. Yeah, there we go. Well, that was something. Uh, okay. So, Crab Rangoon is trending on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Crab Rangoon, we got some bets on my guy here. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. It's a sign. Here we go. We got Cooler Lobster and Mr. Bad. 99% on both. Charge hits. A little bit of damage there. Charge retaliation. Critical. But my charge is much weaker than his is. Flaming headbutt. That's going to do a lot of damage. 270 heat tackle. Ooh, that lands and burns him. Getting burned as a, a tank is kind of rough because you just lose guts constantly. Cooler procs the massive jaw. Oh, there's a villainous instinct though. It's pushed back. Both monsters can hit. They both got the boost. Ooh, hits another one. How much time left on the clock? Villainous Instinct is still live. Both monsters have a live tech. 
Bitey's gonna land. Oh, it procs Villainous, but it procs Villainous too late. Procs Villainous too late. Was I trying to avoid Rampage with Cool Lobster? Until later in life, yeah. Okay. 13,000 on the bite. Villainous Instinct is really good. My guy's got it too. He just died when he got it. So... Game number two. Here we go. Getting burned actually helped Mr. Bad. That's crazy. Blizzard Hammer's gonna land. Actually do that much damage. Flaming Headbutt. Good damage there. Doesn't have 99% chance to hit anymore. Oh, the burn again? Oh no. Is the same thing gonna happen? Mr. Bad has a ton of guts though. We see an Earth Shock. That's like the worst move he could use. No, he decides not to use it. Just another flaming headbutt and a burn. It's the pinch. Hold on, Cooler Lobster only got hit twice. Damn, that's some bad luck on my end. That's some bad luck on my end. Villainous Instinct procs when he dies twice in a row. It's unfortunate. Mister Bad is gonna win that one. Stuck in a tank fight against the golem? Yeah. It, you know, I'm gonna die before I get lucky with bracket luck. There's other people fighting monsters with like 200 composite. I gotta fight the one guy I can't beat. Oh, it happens. No, GG's! Oh, we got Duck on and Haraku up next. Oh, we gotta do the other one. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do the other one. Okay. We'll do this and then we'll do the the whole match that we had from last time. So there's only a 1-0. Okay, so... Sorry guys, I forgot about that. Okay, prediction is live here. Do you like the duck? Quack, 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 quack. Do you like Haraku? Good match, Swoos. Yeah, so I have uh, Jaw, which is good, but Villainous Intent is super powerful. I probably didn't need Jaw. I could have just gone with Villainous Intent. But uh, the third thing I have is the, the Nightmare Wave, which really helps him out. And uh, his opponent did not do any withering. If his opponent did even a tiny bit of withering, that would be... Uh, a very good matchup, but it wasn't. <laughs> then things did not work out. But that's Monster Rancher. In Monster Rancher, things rarely work out. Okay. We got 54% on the Skull Gomera. Here we go. How's your boy doing? He's in. Is he? Is he in? I feel like he's in. Yeah, he, he won his last one. Bite misses. Oh, the bite off. How much damage? Steal that life back. That was a big heal. Heals for 50% of the damage dealt? Is that what it does? Yeah. Or a third on on peck. Back to full health. Oh. <laughs> All that. Okay. Game number two. Wait, Chucky here. I got text on him to 
specifically not proc Nightmare Wave too often. If I get hit with it in the tank versus tank, you're just done. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I'm not saying you did anything wrong. You made a great build. It's just, it sucks that that's the, the build I had to fight. You were prepared for that matchup, and I was not. White misses at 56. Here comes the Pierce. Poisons him. The movement gonna hurt him. Every time he moves, he takes damage. Tanks don't really wither each other any. Yeah. Not in this game. There's not a lot of incidental withering. There is on a couple of techs, but most techs, when they wither, it's like that's part of the tech. Like that's the reason you get it. So Duck On still just gets nuked by like any single one hit, right? So he needs to keep doing what he's doing. Go for the bird on dive. Does damage, but the self repair comes in. It looks like he took very little. He's not using the healing text. He knows how to do this. Hits him with the pierce. Poisons him again. Harku's got a shot. 35% on the tail attack. Misses this time. This particle is slowing the game down. Want to try Tank Nova next time? I think Tank Nova might be pretty cool. Okay. Game number three. We haven't actually seen a lot of game threes. Oh, hit him with the pierce. Oscillatory wave misses. No poison that time. Sharp senses. A bit of damage goes for the bite and misses at 50%. Poisons him again. Karku just bleeding life here. Word on dive. Doesn't kill, but you know it doesn't matter. He, he's still just one hit away. Can he walk forward fast enough? He cannot. Burdon is gonna take that one. Duck my boy, what have they done to you? I know. Hey, Blood Spectre. I'm not raising anything. We're uh, we're doing tournaments. Thank you for the. Thank you for the sub. Really appreciate it. Two one for Duck on. We got, to finish off the last set, I completely spaced on. We got Ho-Ho and Glick, and Ho-Ho is up 1-0. I thought he won the whole thing because the match took forever. Okay, so we'll do another prediction on this. Okay, prediction is live, who do you like? Okay, so it work, will the replay be available just here? I'll, it'll be, there'll be a YouTube VOD eventually. I have to edit out us uh, having issues at the beginning when we realized you can't actually find, you can't find monsters. That you haven't unlocked. So it's uh, kind of a pain in the ass. Everybody who entered a tyrant had to like be DQ'd. It sucks. Your chips are on the fancy lad from Cornwood. Okay. Everybody's liking Holo. Makes sense. Glicken is the underdog here. And GG's.
He's got a gun. Like, you can't fight a guy with a gun. Okay, next up we got Oberon and the whole circus. Prediction is live. We can go start laundry now. <laughs> Thought I uses a gun for shooting instead of punching with it. I know. Looking gets points for looking cooler. That's fair. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like in this one? People are liking the circus. We got one one chip, one disc chip. Can people just not see it? No, oh, there we go. There, a little bit of back and forth. Okay, looks like Oberon is the favorite here. I have Windom unlocked, I do. It's a laser, he misses it. Has some flames that misses it as well. these stats have been the norm, Gomera must have just gotten wrecked. Yeah, I mean, in round two, they're definitely the norm. Round one, it was... There were some pretty lopsided matchups. Oh, hits him with the Grigrio barrel, the laser shot. Some beam at about 50. Runs forward. Does he go with the radio waves? Oh, he gets with the radio waves. Is he going to do enough damage? It is. Okay. There's people booing when they miss. Ooh. Okay, Oberon takes game one. Game two. See, oh, we don't see a spin shot. Regular laser. Zap. Ten of discharge. Ooh, that's him. Yeah, so Oberon doesn't seem to want to, uh, Push people either. Just kind of hangs out. The speed has been lowered. Oh, there we go. There's a knockback. Combo shot. Five little zaps, and none of them hit. Whole circus having a little bit of trouble here. Even with the Oberon's lowered speed. Withering shot, it lands, but that move doesn't do much damage at all. It's the, with the tail attack, but it's not his specialty. This is the best you've done out of the three Monster Rancher tournaments you've entered? Hell yeah. Okay, so Oberon is the winner. Drog and Destroyster up next. Start the battle.
Prediction is live. Who do you like? They're all AI controlled. Yeah, there's no option to do this PvP, like, with actual human control. Drog, uh, Drog does not have a good chance in this matchup. One percent strong punch miss. Earth shocks his most accurate attack. Oh, he runs forward. He wastes all his guts to run forward and then runs backwards. He gets scrounged. That might be it. Oh, there's a nightmare wave. He takes some guts back. Headbutt at one percent. This is that though. Push him back. Keep him in the corner. What do we got? Headbutt at one percent. Kill attack at one percent. Punch at one percent. And swing. At least he's swinging. Headbutt at one. Stricer gets out of the way. Okay. I just realized I'm the only person who entered a Recubus for this, eh? How much of Power Boost's villainous instinct? It feels like. Like. Mm three times it's, it seems really really strong like a mistake was made the headbutt misses tanks are going to be hard to pilot because I guess other tanks you need to you need to proc villainous instinct first and I'm not sure what the build is to make that happen. Realistically, if I had the exact same build I did, except with Grit instead of the, the Scylla buff, I think I could have won those. That might be the, the play. You take the Villainous Instinct hit, you proc your own, and then you win that way. That, that's probably what I should have done. But I wasn't thinking of that. I wasn't thinking of other people's... It's interesting, right? Like, you don't really know what to expect in competitive. It's really fun. Yeah, so Destroyer, you're gonna slow roll that one for victory. I don't think anyone's surprised by that. Grog just does not have the skill necessary to hit 12,000 speed. The Earth Shock is such an accurate attack. Still have like 13% on it. Okay. Man and long, long man. We got a man fight. How's the attorney going so far? It's going great. We, other than like technical issues and the stream dying for a sec, it's losing like a hundred viewers while it was happening. Okay, man fight. Oh, wait. Sorry, when you back out, it's weird. Still early into this game, first monster, three-year-old, great to be right on. Yeah, a lot of these monsters are just the ones people use in their story modes. Okay. Start a prediction. Looking at the builds I have to fight, though, I think Clambo probably would have been the better pick. Just going with my super unoptimized, super speedy build.
learning a lot of these for the first time. I think we all are. Like, we've seen the monsters now, but, like, we still don't really know what they do. Okay, 81% on Long Long Man. Touch another quieter, but misses that one. And pushes him back. Man has an even worse chance to hit, but he can heal. Oh! Oh, he doesn't have grit? Okay. Well, that makes the, the heal text a little bit difficult to use. He can't survive a hit. Okay. Kind of a necessary pickup missing there, but... You know, it is what it is. It's still day one, basically. So is Omochi the only monsters available so far? Yeah. Maybe two or three breed at a time specific cup to focus on our data gathering a bit. I mean, if other people want to do that, that's fine. I probably won't do anything like that. I understand why you're saying that, but... I'm also okay with things just not being solved. <laughs> Ooh, Elekin Collider's gonna miss. Looked like a hit, but he was just doing a stutter step. So the long, long man needs to land something. Bolt Storm, super powerful. Discharge is his best option, and this is at 34% though. Tries it again. Man still on top. Goes for another scrounge. Nine seconds left. Long, long man can still swing. Bolt Storm at 9%. Oh, Kuhn Toss can come out first. It's going to land and do a little bit of withering, but it puts him in range for intended discharge. He's got one second. Oh, he kind of walks into a slot where he doesn't have anything to do. Don't want to host the Garamon grapple. Everyone's got Garamon. I'll raise one eventually. Okay. It's got like a 17 guts rate or something. It's so bad. Bullet Storm at 11. It hits! Oh my god, 12,000 damage. What are you getting up for? Stay down. Oh my god. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll put in 5 for that one. That's not a 10. That's not a 10 or less, but uh, game winning 11? That's up there. That'll do it. Okay. Oh no, I need your help burying his body. Oh, that guy is super dead. Who's next? Bags. We got Dapper Dan and Big Indiana Jones. Means we're almost at the end. like here prediction is live you gotta fight mr. bad it's a good monster but I think it does a little bit worse against speed builds the, the one problem I was having with Raycubus is that I cannot find any good heavy text his heavy text seemed to suck and what's really funny is that the one that I did get on him because I thought, you know what, if it can burn, it might be good against tanks. And it burned twice on two activations. 
So I bat in a thousand. Perfect for my plan that completely backfired when it stopped my opponent from attacking multiple times in a row and let me proc their villainous instinct and lose because of it. You know, I was so big brained that it like rolled over into like negative IQ. Okay, here we go. People are really liking Indiana Jones in this one. You get those stats so high? People are learning how to play the game. There's the headbutt. Got that Mobius brain, hell yeah. That was about what you pictured. Give him the pistol. Give him the whip. Ooh, bulls at claw. Oh, point blank shot gets him. Ah, that goal is at claw. Dang, he gets props for dressing like Racky. He does. It's definitely one of my favorite monsters. Okay. So that means we have one match left in this round. We've got Escar Good and Beam Venger. You guys want to see kind of a lopsided matchup? Okay. Last game of this round. We're moving on to top. Is it sixteen? Yeah, top sixteen. After this, a little bit, a little bit lopsided. Prediction is live. Gotta believe in Beam. Hell yeah. Am I getting a good feel for which mods are OP and which are losers? Not really. I know Connie Gun is good. I think Baltan is very strong. Um, Red King feels like Golem. Golem's always good. Other than that, though, I don't know. It, it's really hard to say. I think a lot of people are coming up with answers very quickly for questions they... But they're asking the wrong questions, you know what I mean? Beam's got this? Hell yeah. Okay. Here we go. Escargood. What's for the drop kick? He's trying. You know how embarrassing that must be to go for a drop kick and you just miss? Twice in a row? Oh my god. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's kind of the most fun when nobody knows. It's going to be fun for a while. Yeah, this is a rare situation where you don't know what's happening. You know, it's in Monster Rancher. Also, that's the first time he attacked, and like 30 seconds in. Like, we all play a ton of Monster Rancher. Monster Rancher 3, Monster Rancher 4, they've been out for a long time. We have a pretty solid idea of what is good and what is not. But this is just like, straight up just nobody knows. Technique on that dropkick is ultra clean at least. Wouldn't you like break the costume if you did that though? Should stick to the beams. To the extremely long punch animation. And drop kick misses. Do we see one percent Kabuki attack? Glacier chunk. Oh, that'll do it. Okay. So. Beam's going down. Eskar Good is moving on. I, like I said earlier, I'm going to go brew some coffee. We are into top 16 now. Exclamation mark bracket. If you want to see the bracket. A lot of fun monsters. The thing that's really interesting to me, though, is that there is so little known about this game right now, right? Like, it is so fresh. It is so new. 
that I just raised a Recubus, and I have no real understanding of if the stuff I picked was good or not. I'm pretty sure the fire charge move sucks, uh, but I left it because he doesn't have a lot of heavy techs. I think uh, Blizzard Hammer is good. I think Blizzard Hammer is good, and the, the tail attack is good. His tail attack is a 20 cost, C4, C accuracy, A critical hit move, which seems really good, even if it's on, you know, a monster with an extremely slow guts rate. I think that's, like, those numbers are just too good not to have. Where are we going now? Let's go to... Snow. But, uh... You know, it's not like Monster Rancher where, like, I raise a golem or something and then it's like, I'm gonna go do something else next time. I'm like, I wanna raise another Rekubus. I wanna see what I can do. What are his other techs? He's got so many intelligence techs. Intelligence Rekubus might actually be the play. I don't know. It, there's a, a lot of stuff going on with that monster. And that's just one guy. I have all these ideas and all these thoughts about one single monster. And the rest of them, well. We'll get to them in due time. I do think from what I've seen that Ray Cubis seems kind of like a mid-tier monster. He doesn't have anything that stands out. He doesn't have anything that I've seen that seems like explicitly like very, very powerful. Like we've seen with um, like Kanigan or some of these other monsters. Bite on uh, Skull Gomoro seems really good. I don't think he has anything at that level. But, you know. Well, no, unless I spend some more time on it. Yeah, here we go. Like, what's his name? Um, King Joe actually has two tornado attacks, right? He's got the one that's a hit tech, but he's got one that is a sharp tech. And the sharp tech looks really, really good. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, that was a big one. You see what power attacks you can unlock on the Rikuas? I want to make a speedy power ice build. I think uh, Blizzard Hammer is the only physical ice attack he has. Okay, so Tomato Town with game one. I also think Suezo is seems really good. Suezo just seems like regular old Suezo, which is like always right on the verge of being a top tier. But we only saw one today, and it lost in what was essentially a mirror match. In round one. Poor Selvia. Yeah, poor Selvia probably could have won the whole thing. That's how Monster Rancher works. You can win the whole thing, you can lose round one. Big Pants just doesn't get to attack again. Yeah. The bullets. Yeah, this is a tank killer mochi for sure. Nightmare Wave would help on this build a little bit. Is the self repair, but it's not enough. Oh, damn. Reduces guts cost. He's got it. He's got a chance. Hell, hell ball. Oh, oh. So that actually reduces it by half. Hey, eh? that's kind of good. His traits mechanics also make the meta very interesting. Oh, goes for the Mochi Ray at the very last second, does 8,000 damage. God damn, Mochi. Is Mochi good? Do we see a Mochi Surge? Is it happening? Right. Okay, so Mochi. Tomato Town's moving on. We got Zoom Borg and Paul Penguin up next. Also, congratulations to everyone for making top 16 because. Winning two matches in a row in this clusterfuck where nobody knows what's going on is could be extremely easy if you got lucky. Could be extremely difficult. It's uh, very luck based, but you had to do something right. Also, my apologies or condolences, I should say, for the lower half of the bracket. Because you guys got to fight Escar good. We 
happiest. Now that we are in top 16, that means we are two thirds, more than two thirds of the way through the tournament. So I want to say thank you again for how generous everyone has been and for just watching and hanging out. I can't believe we've raised as much money as we had. I, my original goal, I can't believe we're at 900. Wait, does that mean someone else donated? Jack of Clubs? Jack of Clubs with 150, that's very kind. Jesus Christ. So we're 100 away. God damn, dude. Very, very kind. Yeah, before the... Oh my god, nobody on Zoomborg? We don't have a single bet on Zoomborg. Okay. Uh, before I started the stream, I actually had it set at 300. And I was like, that's that's probably too low. And so I put it to 500. And, I was, and then I was worried 500 was too high. But you guys have been very, like, crazy generous. Him back. Did some fights against Jay's Golza with decent luck. A big Indy can definitely win. My goal with my Recubus was actually to have about 7,000 speed by the time I was done. But I just did not have enough, like, literal IRL hours to make it happen. Get talked on. I think having about 7,000 speed on that Recubus would be insane. Hey, Uncle with the 10. Thank you for the $10. Mm. <laughs> Steals more. The one thing, though, that, you know, is an actual gameplay mechanic of the game that I don't think I'm a fan of. I've already talked about how it's a huge missed opportunity to not be able to like put anger on your monster. We don't even know if form works in PvP, because anger doesn't. But uh, the thing that I, like, I kind of actually don't like about this game is how everybody seems to either be life, power, defense, or skill, speed, intelligence. There's a couple monsters that are speed and power, but those are more like specific subbreeds as opposed to like the main breed. The main breeds are all either super tanky and power or super speedy and intelligence. It seems strange. Like you have so many opportunities to go with different routes, but they just didn't. Very few exceptions like Bemstar. There's Bemstar and Ace Killer and name another one. Yeah, you know what I mean? Eighty percent tackle hits the seventy-seven percent tackle. But Zoom Borg is still in it. You build your King Joe's intelligence, defense, health. King Joe has like twelve beam attacks. It's really funny. That means you can't throw the tanker though. That's the one thing. It's got the invincible guts. They're they're just dancing. That's not the move you want to do right now. Well, it is gonna lower. His guts, but you got 16 seconds to get a kill. Zoom board, if you don't want this, go to game three. Did I try minus 100 versus 100 form? Um, no, I have not. I don't think anyone's actually tested it. Oh, he hits, but it's not enough. Paul Penguin gonna live. 79 life. This is the horn thrust. That's it. Going to game three. Form not working online seems strange as an intentional choice. Anger not working online seems strange as an intentional choice as well. Maybe they thought anger would be too powerful. Maybe they did try it. Max form multiply stats by 0.5 times? Interesting. So it's not as big of a bonus. Yeah, all these matches are down to the wire. Get him with the bullets. Bemstar tackle lands. Ooh, Zoom Borg. You got one life. Hits the glow stick. Good crit. 
needs to do 3,500. Ooh, the flying attack is going to finish him off, though. Paul Penguin is going to win that one, meaning nobody loses any money on that. Next up, we've got Salarimon and Plasma. Can you guys imagine if I made this uh, double a limb? Two nine hour streams or seven hour streams. I think I'm I think I'm all played out for the day though. Kind of crazy to think about, but <laughs> uh, when I'm done this, I'm probably not playing for the rest of the night. I'm probably just going straight to bed. Take the night off from playing some monster entry, you know. Okay, prediction is live. Prediction is live. Who do you guys like? Very even. Salarimon does have a very slight advantage, but will it matter? 4,000 life means that just one chip shot won't be enough to kill. Whereas Plasma's 1,900 means that, you know, he needs to look out for pretty much everything. I think people are getting tired of betting <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay, we got uh, Plasma with a little bit of a guts, or not a guts, but a bet lead. Illusions opener. He hits it. Salarimon's got pretty good Guts Regen though. Hits the Antenna Discharge. That's a game. So curious in full potential Nova. I think Nova, just from its techs and like how it seems to be built, I think you want to go Tank Nova. I think Tank Nova seems very, very like egregiously difficult to deal with for most monsters. Speedsters will still get fucked up and uh, Tanks will get withered super hard and he still has some really big nukes as well. He's got me watching Ultraman. Baltan is one of the best episodes of season one. And Baltan's such a bastard, eh? He's just like, I, yeah, I own Earth now. Struck the bullets, misses. Oh, get out of there. Let's charge at 63. El King seems pretty good. El King seems pretty hyped. Antenna Discharge just looks so good. It's won so many sets. Okay, Ella King is going to take that one. Salary Mon moves on to top eight. I and Sparky. Okay, here we go. Next plan for top eight happens now. Prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two? 12,000 intelligence on Sparky. The, intel the only intelligence tank in the entire tournament. I hope I at least make it to fighting Escar Good. I think Escar Good is probably the one everybody wants to fight. Major Monkey is followed. Thank you. Okay, we got 86% on Sparky. And Discharge 68%. What is the hit percent on this move? Ooh, good damage. Burns him immediately and the intelligence down. It's inflammable gas again. Charge misses, it probably would still kill. Flames on 50. Go for it, but it misses. 
Oh, the clone bullets, a little bit of damage, but the self-repair keeps him alive. It burns him again. He only needs one hit, though. Oh, wow. Burn ran out immediately. The quicker healing really coming in handy there. Flammable gas lands again. That's going to be enough. Sparky needed to attack, but he just didn't want to attack. It's the trait. Yeah, it's good. I didn't realize it was that fast. Okay, I takes game one. Haven't actually seen any crazy hits or misses. It almost doesn't feel like a Monster Rancher game. We haven't had any... We've had one hit at 10 or below. We had one hit at 11. We haven't had any misses above... Uh, above 90, you know? Sixty-nine percent and misses. Imagine being a speed monster and just your opponent having a seventy percent chance to instantly nuke you. Good damage on that. Critical for seven thousand, but he's still alive. Crescent beam fifty-fifty. It hits. Even with the burn, it's enough. If we get spatium beam, oh my god instant kill or no, the 100% chance to hit look at that Sparky's gonna take that one he moves on to fight his brother Salarimon 2-1 Ho-Ho and Mr. Bad up next oh Oh, I didn't capitalize it. I'm not going to be able to... See, it has to be exact capitalization. It sucks. Okay. Speed and tank. I haven't seen a matchup like this yet, really. Prediction is live. Asha the Game Genie, thank you for the raid! Hello raiders. How's everyone doing? We have Mr. Bad. I think, uh, I think my guy would have had an okay chance against Ho-Ho. He has got some pretty accurate stuff and, you know, he does have Nightmare Wave. How are the raiders doing? Where are you? beautiful folks up to. Okay, 87% on Mr. Bad, damn. I want it all, cause I'm Mr. Bad. That's how the song goes, right? Earth Shock on the 50-50 misses. This to be Asha 4, but we've been rebrand. Oh, hey, right on. Yeah, I was like, the name sounds familiar. Right on, though. How did your stream go? We're getting close to the end of the first Ultra Kaju Monster Rancher tournament. Held in English, at least. You're playing Kaju too? Nice. Always oh, got Villainous Instinct, 10% chance? Do a billion damage. It misses. Villainous Instinct is so, so, so good. I think if you have a tank and you don't have Villainous Instinct, you've made, like, a colossal mistake. I, it almost feels like they made an error when they were doing the math for it. I would not be surprised if it's a three times boost to damage. It seems really dumb. It's at least two times. It's at least power. Just finished raising your first mon, working on your second to unlock the last mons in the game. Nice. This was in the cards. Earthshock, 49%. Oh. You know, he's trying. 
He's doing his best. It's another cookie that activates at two times damage, but it has to be in a row, I think. Must lower his intelligence. Yeah, there is that one. Villainous Instinct and Fury for all the I Dare You to Hit Me bonuses. Well, the Scylla one is good too, but it didn't seem to boost it that much. That's the boost when you're losing. When there's 30 seconds left on the clock. I proc that against Mr. Bad, and then I hit him with a heavy tech, and it did like 3,000 damage, so... I don't know how strong that one is. Mmm. Oh, we're teleporting all over the place. He gets him. We're happy to be playing Monster Rancher game again. Burn yourself on competitive Monster Rancher 2. Needed a break. I feel that. It's all good. Yeah, well, you definitely won't burn out on this because nobody knows what the hell is happening. Everybody's got, like, inklings of, like, what's strong. You know, we've all played enough of the series, the franchise, to have, like, an okay understanding of, like, what to look for. But even then, I don't know. I kind of want to make Recubus work, but I do think he is on the weaker side of things. Yeah, see, if you back out of that, you have to... This is so silly, why do I have to wait? You're, it's really that much of an overload? But yeah, Asha, uh, thank you again for the raid. But tonight we're actually doing a charity stream. We are helping out Gamers Outreach, which provides video games to children in hospitals make their stays a little bit less difficult, you know? So, you raided during a fun stream. I've already almost raised a thousand bucks since five o'clock tonight, so that's pretty cool. Everyone's been very generous. Exclamation mark donate if anybody's watching and uh, you guys want to get involved still. Also, damn, nobody bet on Ho-Ho there? That was... Holy. 8 to 1 odds on that. Okay, prediction is live. Are you going to have to fight Duck on? You might have to fight Duck on. Watch out for the quack attack. Prediction's live on this. Who do you guys like? Purity is if you get hit twice, you get a bonus. The power and intelligence is reduced. Yeah. Most afraid of Ho-Ho. It's a good monster. I couldn't have told you that beforehand. I wouldn't have known. But after watching, you know, it seems pretty good. Birdon looks good, too. I think Birdon might be one of the better monsters in the game. Seems like it might be kind of difficult to raise, though. Really short lifespan and all that. Oh my god. Well. 9,000 damage on the bird dive. Okay. You bet on home, big payout yourself. <laughs> nice. Everyone has a lovely night stream. Thank you for dropping by, I really appreciate it. Warp Shot seems kind of nutty, super accurate, does decent damage. It's pretty quick, too. Get back into the action pretty, pretty quickly after it. Flames at 45, that's gonna be nice. 47 on the burnout dive. It will kill. We saw it happen last time. It's a lot of guts gone all of a sudden, though. Flames again. Ooh. Wait, it'll proc both at the same time? That's not great. So you don't get two grits, eh? Ooh. Another bird on dive. That'll do it. That'll do it. The bird on moves on. Okay, Destroyster and Long Long Man up next.
Yeah, so Ella King, what is it? Three Ella Kings in top 16? <laughs> Ascended donated $20. Sorry I missed that three minutes ago. Very kind. Very generous of you. It is very much appreciated. Let's take a look at this real quick. Okay, prediction is live. Make your bets. That means we are $70 away. $70 away from our, what is going to be final goal. I don't think I'm, uh, I'm going to bother extending it again. This is already insane. You guys are so generous. If it actually proc grit first and then saw a minus 20% life and it's a proc self repair. Yeah, people were doing testing before and I saw them talking about it, but I just didn't understand like what they were saying. But that seems to be like how it works. Okay. Here we go. 61% on Long Long Man. Long Long Man has the anti tank text. He's got antenna discharge. Jesus. But he's also got the anti tank text. Destroyer doesn't have grit either. Oh no. Or Destroyster. Damn. Both man and Destroyster. Oh, that's rough. Okay. Game two. Maybe the cookie order matters. I think some testing was done. I would, uh... I don't know. Maybe it does. Ten of discharge misses that time. A chance to just instantly end it there. Goes for it again. And it lands! Oh, well... That's monster entry. 30%. The Kanagon got backed into the wall and he didn't do anything again. <laughs> what is he with the Kanagon? He just walks backwards and he's like, Well, this is my life now. I now live in this corner. This is my corner. It was made for me. Big Indiana Jones and Escar Good. One of the craziest matches we'll see tonight. You only have one grit cookie? This guy has item discovery cookies? Yeah. I feel not wanting to put the grit cookie on this guy. I get it. I got it on my clambo. But, uh... Wait, I don't even have a fourth one on clambo. Damn, you guys were getting washed by clambo on stream the other day, and I don't even have a fourth cookie. Wild. GG's Tangent, thank you so much for entering and for retweeting and all that fun stuff. And for the huge raid. Very kind. Also, Tangent, while you're here, I need to say something. Uh, I need to apologize specifically to you. Um, stress is in this game. <laughs> Astro Mint is extremely important. There was, uh, There's nothing in any of the literature that talks about it. It is the most Monster Rancher thing possible to have something that hidden in a game that goes out of its way to tell you everything. But yeah... Uh, stress is very important to manage, or else your monster will just tank their lifespan. We're all figuring out this game, yeah we are. That was me having a little bit of faith in Bandai Namco being like, you know what, they're gonna put out a good tutorial. They'll let us know everything. But uh, but they did not. <laughs> they did not let us know everything. It's fun though. Because the way it's set up right now, it doesn't seem like there's a proper no rest method. It seems like you kind of need to use intuition. And figure out when it's best to use mint leaves. Or like astro mint and when it's best to use cacao and whatever. So... I feel like people who have played the game a lot will have just an upper hand in managing life for the next little bit because you can kind of get a grip on like, okay, I've done so many drills, it probably makes sense for me to use uh, the stress reduction item at this point, even though, you know, it looks like he might not need it. So it's a very intuitive, very like feelings based right now. Surely there won't be hidden values in a Monster Rancher game. Surely not. 
Okay, 98% of you are on Escar Good. Escar Good grief. Charlie Brown ass. Push him away. Incredible, you love it. It's sincere. Yeah, I, it's good. It's the scratch skill, but it damage. Escar Good's a tanky boy, though. Ice Claw gonna do big damage, and it freezes on the lowers the skill. Look at how unlikely he is to hit, but he still hits the head, but Escar Good sitting above half health. He has no guts, though. I think big Indiana Jones needs to swing on that intelligence tech. He needs to just hope he hits it. Ice Knuckle is going to land. What? Self Kara keeps him alive. Big Indiana Jones with a little bit of a gut lead. Hits the scratch. It's not going to be enough. Escar Good just going to be able to tank through this. Big Indiana Jones is alive still, though. The double grit. Oh my god. Reduce guts costing. <laughs> he's got. He's got self repair and the two giant light. Oh my god. I think talking to Monster gives him an idea of stress. I think it might. I think there's ways to figure it out. I think there's ways to figure it out, but it's uh, it's not like as formulaic as it is in Monster Rancher 2. Okay. Here we go. A little bit of scratch damage. Oh my god, that move does big damage. What the hell? Nice knuckle. Big crit there. What was the claw's gonna miss? I think Asgard Good's got this. Glacier Chunk. Oh, it goes for the charge, but it misses. Max, we haven't seen a Max Ultrasonic Ray in this tournament yet. That doesn't kill him, but it does proc the freeze again. Charge misses at 30. I think Asgard Good has got this. He's got one life left. No, I know the first hit didn't kill, but still. It's almost like a grit. Yeah, Asgard Good is going to take that one. I don't think anybody on planet Earth will be surprised if Eskar Good wins this, but, you know, we got some more monsters to do. We are now in top eight. I will donate $100 additionally on top of everything else I'm doing. If Eskar Good does not win, I'm putting a bounty on his head. Watch Sarah, like, uh, delete the upload and, like, make a crappier version. Okay. We got two kind of penguins. The spell stopping Gus Regen looks so weird. Like, the, the knockback, yeah. yeah. Prediction is live. You're thinking about, see? No, oh, I'm I'm on that 4D chess. Oh, Bill, I am with the twenty dollar donation. Thank you. Sorry for the the miss on that. Thanks for the great Monster Rancher content and for a good cause. Hey, thank you for the donation. Every little bit helps. We are fifty away. You still have the early version of Eskar Good, which fought Clambo? Yeah, don't don't put that up. Okay, 53-47, Tomato Town with a very slight lead in the bets. All Penguin doesn't care that much about getting withered. He doesn't want to get withered, but... We need something like anger in this game. I know there's Nightmare Wave, but Nightmare Wave is anger. Oh my god! You guys forgot about the mochi bounce. Get bounced. 
Wish there was a knight on a UKMR, but cuter than usual to differentiate the game. You mean like a knight on? Wait a minute. Let's uh, let's move. We're in top eight. Big wake up, Mochi is good now. Oh my god. This Mochi seems like an incredibly strong anti tank. Also, guys, I don't know if you've noticed throughout this. Uh, defense seems better. But tanks are still bad. <laughs> you still don't want to be tanking. You don't want to be getting withered. Especially with how slow a lot of these monsters' guts rates are. If you take 30 guts withering, you're just done. <laughs> oh, 17,000 damage on the mochi right? God damn. Where do you check a monster's attribute? What do you mean? Yeah, speedsters going through story modes way easier. Yeah. Well, 17,000 mochi, my god. Tomato Town, moving on 2-0. Salarymon and Sparky. So he does have to fight a speed monster next. A speed monster with good guts regen. So we'll see if it holds up. He's had to fight a lot of tanks. Oh no, I made a mistake. Okay, so I can click on it and then back out, and then it doesn't make me redo the whole thing. That's probably slightly quicker. Oh, le electric attribute for the Naronga? I think you just need a Eloking. I don't think anyone's done it with anything else. You just need to go with Eloking. Hey, prediction is live. I haven't actually unlocked Naronga yet. So Naronga seeming like Naronga might actually be good because of Eloking being good and Naronga having the automatic lightning counter. I think many of the techs need to be balanced at the higher end because too many moves are hitting for over max life on decent defense monsters. Um, so, the way Monster Rancher calculates damage is it takes your attacking stat into consideration when it is actually mitigating damage. So if you're fighting an intelligence monster with a power tank, you're not actually mitigating a ton of damage because uh, you don't have any intelligence to take the hit. Like, for example, that Red King that I fought, and I lost to, I was doing about 2,000, 3,000 damage per attack. If I had to fight, um, what was the intelligence tank? Was Oberon the intelligence tank? Or was another one? Hold on one sec. Oberon was the intelligence tank, right? I'd be doing like 6,000, 7,000 damage, like double almost. So... It's, it's a thing to consider. It's also part of why defense historically has been like kind of crappy. That's the thing. Intelligence also tanks for intelligence attacks, not just defense. Yeah. Excited to do King Joe intelligence tank. King Joe's sick. I love him. Okay, 74% on Sparky. Jesus. Two in a row! Salarymon. Can't get out of the way of that. He gets paralyzed and then all of a sudden it's extremely easy to hit him. Who would have thought? Your intelligence tank in this game is actually easy on Life Monster Rancher 2, so it helps. Is it? Oh, okay, yeah, you can do skill and intelligence and it brings life down, right? Fight again. It's It's easier. It's easier. The train cookie is really good. Yeah, so that's the thing that sucks on my guy. So I had a Golem King Joe. I was talking about this earlier. I had a Golem King Joe, and I didn't understand how stress worked when I was raising him last night. And I completely fucked up his lifespan. And I wasted a Golden Peach on him. It was a huge ordeal. I ended up losing like 7 million. And probably more than that, raising him. Just like a straight loss. H huge 
huge waste of my time, honestly. But I did learn, so I guess it wasn't a waste of my time. I did learn how strong the, the training stats, like the training traits are. And so I used an intelligence one and a speed one on Joe and it worked really well. But then I didn't have any left for my crab. And so the only one I have on crab is the makes it easier to like conquer a territory. And that seems like honestly really good. You get the territory bonus really quickly. Okay, Sparky's moving on. Honestly, that seemed pretty one-sided after we, uh, after game one. I, it didn't look like Salarimon had a shot there. Ho-Ho and Duckin up next. If you learned it's not a waste, yeah. It's just, I could have been sleeping, you know? Between playing the game and like video editing last night, I was up till like four in the morning. And I woke up at nine this morning to try and get the crab ready in time. <laughs> it took me the whole fucking day. Uh, who is Ho -Oh and Duck on? But I'm gonna be honest, I'm excited to just kind of play the game casually again. I'm not trying to like hyper grind out. A monster like I was. The NFC gotcha is random. So it's not in the cookie shop. In the cookie shop, it's the same thing. I think at the shrine, it gives you a cycle of like three monsters or something like that. Can't believe Sparky has made it this far. He was my expedition unlock monster that just lived a super long time, so it got his stats really high. Yeah, I think uh, the monster is really good. I think he stumbled onto something. Okay, so is this, uh, hold on, did you guys get paid out? I can't remember if I pressed prediction for this one or not. I don't think I did. You guys, did you guys get paid out or not? Nobody knows if they got paid out or not. No? Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, so prediction is live for this one. Make your bets. Whichever hits first wins. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, does have the better speed. 12,000 skill, almost 12,000 skill, and 9,000 speed. I don't know. This form actually helps beyond cap. I mean, we'll see. They both have guts. Yeah, so it's not whoever hits first wins, it's whoever hits two times wins. Burdon has the dive. He's got the bomb. Quebec's got the bomb. Okay, here we go. Duck on's got a couple of really accurate attacks. 54%. Warp shot at 80? 80% 80 chance! Holy! Hits the peck roll. Take the life back. Oh my god. Misses the point blank shot that time. Damn. Bird on dive. Hits at 39%. Misses the 80 to lose it. Oh no. Quack. 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 RNG fight. After seeing the 80%, I do think this is Ho's to win though. Some of the, the warp shot. The pierce misses. Ooh, ho Ho's in a good place. Ho Ho Ho. Goes for the smooch. Oh, the big smooch. That's just BM. Playing with your food. Oh, it's not finger looking right now. Should be. Both the crit cookie and the 20% activate together. Yeah, they can. Oh, there's the poison. Speed boost? The speed boost here is huge. 10,000 damage. Can't die to poison. Warp shot at 80% misses again. Are you kidding? Oh, no. Okay, hits it the third time. Oh, my God. 12 gusts for 25 withering is really insane. Yeah. Yeah, it is. 
It's pretty accurate too. Honestly, it's as much as I'm like, well, scrounge is pretty fucked up. I think kiss might be better. <laughs> kiss is just like scrounge if it always looks. Because scrounge is expensive. It's just that you are refunded cost. And here we're going to game three. Warp shot opener. You can do it again. Point blank shot too. Pierce at 56 is going to miss. Oh, that's going to take it. Kiss is a better scourge on scrounge on miss, yeah. I keep saying scourge, but it is kind of a scourge. 2 1 for Hoho. -Ho, moving on to top four. Long Long Man and Escar Good coming up next. He quacked. We've only got a couple matches left, guys. Hope you are excited. Hope you've been enjoying yourselves. And again, thank you for all the generosity. So crazy. I, I really didn't expect this. The bounty is still out on Escar Good. If Escar Good does not win the tournament, I will donate another hundo. You're hype? You should be. Monster's doing great. After round one, it winds down quick. Yeah. So in single elimination, round one is half the matches. And then 75% of the matches happen in the first two rounds. And then, you know, it's half and then half and then half and half and half. Okay. Let me get a prediction going. I wonder how... Clambo would have done. Ho is not even fully optimized. Sad there's no worm subs. To be fair, every Telestan sub kind of looks like a worm sub. Might remake for next tourney. I'm in a good stream. Glad it's almost over so you can finish it before going to bed. Yeah, I feel the exact same way and I'm the one running it. Searching for rancher name might be faster. I think that's what we're going to do from now on. I think that's going to be what we do. How the stats? Combination. Combination is very strong in this game. Okay, here we go. Almost every monster in like top 32 had close to four stats maxed out, or at least three stats maxed out. Escar Good is definitely a step above all of them. But... Yes, that's top eight, right? We had, uh... We had... I can't believe we had three Elekings in top eight. Eleking might be really good. <laughs> it might be really good. It is matchup dependent and stuff too, though. Love a good fusion. Longman, Longman needs to land the Bolt Storm. I think that's the play here. He needs to just get lucky and land the gigantic move. Or Antenna Discharge to proc the Paralyze and then something else after. Like Bolt Storm. <laughs> Bolt Storm's still the key. Combination's the only way you can make Mr. Bat at your level. Lucky combo. Did good for your first tourney? Yeah. He did. He beat me. To be fair, I didn't use a combo. I did I did mine from scratch, but still. Combination is part of the game. It's such an easy way to like get a head start and like not have to grind and spend a billion hours playing. Just use Naronga to counter Elekang? That's what I'm saying. Naronga might be a good monster just because Elekang's a good monster. Oh, he's in bolt storm, he's like no 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 no. We're not doing this. Get out of here. You've wasted 20 guts. Alkane Clyder, 26%. It lands! Oh my god. It's a lot of damage. But Escar Good has a ton of guts now. 50 50 on most of his moves. Cool blow. Glacier Chunk is like 40% more 
accurate than Cool Blow. That must be a hit tech, right? Oh, it hits him, but doesn't kill, though. Does he go for the charge? He goes for the Cool Blow at 37. Dodges that. Hell King's still in this. Antenna Discharge lands. It paralyzes him. Long Long Man's got a shot here. 60% on the Antenna Discharge. He goes for it again. But the Self Repair keeps him alive. He's still paralyzed. Hell King Collider. As time runs out. Misses. He had a shot. He could have done the thing. But Escar Good is moving on. He did everything he needed to. He packed a little bit late on that last one, but other than that, you know, it was what it was. Okay, Tomato Town and Sparky up next. Exclamation mark bracket if you want to see how we got here. So four different monsters in top four. Eight, El <laughs> three Ella Kings in top eight. Only one Ella King in top four. Top eight, what do, do we do? In top four, I think we do best two out of three. Or best three out of five. Okay. Let's get some big bets. One minute of predictions. Who do you guys like here? Prediction is live. Do you like Tomato Town? Do you like Sparky? Sparky, a little bit of a tank. Not super tanky, but it's doing well. Your mod tends to have 99 guts and do nothing most of the time. So I don't understand why. I think it's personality. If I do, if I had to hazard a guess, I think it's the personality. Because my crab was doing the same thing. And then when it hit prime, its personality type changed. And then it started swinging like all the time. Like over and over again as soon as it had enough guts to. So it's, it's but it's just, you know, we don't know which actually does it. There's 25 personality types as far as we know, and they're probably grouped into like f groups of five or something like that. It's hard to check. It is. It'll take us a while. We got 20,000 chips on Tomato Town. We got 5,000 chips on Sparky. People think Tomato Town's got it. It's got a lot of withering. Sparky's got a very fast guts rate though. It does have a faster guts rate than his opponent. Ooh, good damage on Silent Ilk on the withering attack. Antenna discharge is gonna miss on the 50 though. Let's hit it again. Mochi bullet. Gonna burn him. Ooh, Sparky I think is looking for game two at this point. It's another one. That's gonna be game one. I think my uh, my crab is honest. That's his personality. He's got a vampiric move. Mochi is good here. Mochi... This Mochi has only had to fight tanks. And he's built specifically to beat tanks. So it's hard to say if he's good or not. <laughs> this Mochi in particular in this tournament is doing exceptionally well. But we don't know much about what that means for the, the greater scope of the game, you know? It's very, very hard to look at this and be like oh yeah that's obviously broken or that's obviously really bad because there's so many different factors and like maybe it's really bad in a specific matchup or really good in a specific matchup intelligence mochi only has good tax against tanks yeah but they went all in on the withering with infiltrator and all that so they're doing they're doing big withers set him on fire and then lick them this mochi is sick yeah he's a uh, kind of a jerk Oh no, he got tuned. That's 34 guts. Jesus. Licking, doing 2,000 damage. Oh, he gets the discharge. Big damage, and he's paralyzed. His speed is down, but Sparky doesn't have enough guts to attack. 
You will soon. Paralyzed runs out. It's gonna be it. Tomato Town takes that one. Clean 3-0. Ho Ho and Escargo, or Escargood up next. I know we can data mine now, but I look forward to the game mechanics and rumors like the ones Monster Rancher 2. It's fun, but it's also, it's a combination, right? You take the good with the bad. It's, it's a really exciting time to be a fan because we're all learning stuff together. And that's not really a thing most of us have ever done in Monster Rancher before. This game actually has Monster Rancher monsters? Yeah, it does. Why am I doing long one, man? It's Ho Ho. Okay, here we go. X Avenge, thank you for the sub. Very kind of you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Okay, prediction is live. What do you guys like here? And Uber Dude for the follow and Dumpkins for the follow. Thank you guys. First to five. Prediction is live. Who do you guys think is going to win this? Only 50 bucks at 1,000? Yeah. Well, we're technically over 1,000 because, you know, I've already got people who have, like, donated bits that I haven't put into the pot yet. Actually, no. With, uh, with what I'm donating, we are $10 short or $5 short. This grand finals? No, no, no. This is uh, semis. The mochi is in finals. We got 77%. 23,000 chips on SCAR good. Here we go. Give him the smooch. Oh, you got withered. The Gondar kick. All goes for another smooch. Mm. Point blank shot, gonna miss in the 50 50. Another one, miss on the 50 50. 99 guts, huge guts lead for Escar, good. Reduces the opponent's guts, reduces the opponent's guts again. He's down to 50. Should have attacked, brother. Go below 26%, it's going to land. He does fucking nothing. He gets hit a billion times, and then he's like, you know what? I'm gonna use my big special attack and land it anyway. Good. God damn. Did he fuse train monsters for like Gondar? Yeah. I don't think you can get max stats in this game without combining. Maybe you can. But I, th I think you need to combine for it. Okay, so Warp Shot actually does a lot. I need to land a couple. Always a lever, not a fighter. I love his awful gun. It's pretty funny. Started with around 12k stats. That's pretty good. Actually, that's lower than I would have expected. Does he just have good stat gains? Didn't get killed though. This guy good is actually banking guts. Actually playing like a player control. Yeah. Also dodging literally everything. Oh, it does a lot of damage. But it actually needs to hit. Okay, you're not banking guts anymore. You're just hanging out. Get smooched. Oh. Ice claw lands. Sure, just just land the attack every time you attack. Goes for ice claw. One percent hit. All oh, the speed boost. Accuracy down because of the freeze. It's pushed back, but he's already in the corner. What's he gonna do? I'm just going to get out of this, miss another point blank shot. Ice Claw 1% misses. Yeah, Ho can't do anything. Finally hits a point blank shot, way too little, way too late. Okay. A 
Like five point bling missed at fifty percent. Yeah, and the the warp shot has only hit once as well. It did a lot of damage when it landed though. Two zero going into game three. Do we see a reverse sweep or is this going to be it? Nah, it's it's best of five. Go, we're still in. It's the warp shot, but a third of Eskar Good's life is gone. Hits the Gondar kick, though. Oh, still in it, but... Ooh, hits a point-blank shot, finally. And the warp shot puts him in the red. Box the self-repair. Goes for another one. It's not enough to kill. Ice Claw 36 is going to land, though? Bro, Eskar Good missed what? Escargo missed like three 1% hits and landed everything else. Landed every 30%. He's got plot armor. Even when he's fighting a matchup that he's got a chance to lose, it's just like, nope. So, this is what it comes down to. We've got Escar Good. The favorite to win it all versus Tomato Town. Okay. Your boy whiffed too much? I know. Gotta check Eskar Good's console, make sure you ain't using Game Genie. Sarah's been cheating. Okay. Prediction for this is now live. This is Grand Finals. This is your last chance to bet for the night. Oh, you know what? We're supposed to do a... We'll do a bronze... We'll do a bronze match after this. It's a little bit unceremonious to do the bronze match after this, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, what do we got? All on red? I bet it all on black. The color you're all dressed in and built it back. Uh, what do we got? 115,000 chips on Escar Good and 47,000 chips on Tomato Town. Okay. Well, that's quite the bet. Here we go. Looking at about 50%. Misses it. Mochi missing an attack? Oh my god. The tune hits. Goes for the ice claw. It's like it's been landing. Might as well keep swinging. Gentlemen, convince you're looking. Tomato Town is cute, but Escar Good is lucky. That's true. You're making good points. This is the ice claw. 161,000 chips. It's a lot of chips. Hard not to bet on Tomato Town with those odds. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's got dirty tactics. Goes for the mulching bullet, but it's not kind of lame. Ooh, the cool blow miss. Eight seconds left. Our S card good. Looking pretty fine. Feeling fine. Hits the mochi bullet. Oh my god. Self-repair keeps him alive. He wins it. He wins it. Wasn't enough damage. What's really funny is if that had killed, if that had killed, the 20% wouldn't have been enough. But because he survived with 7% health, he ended up winning it. Not enough for Tomato Town. Mochi Bolt miss at 53. Mochi Toon gonna miss. That might be game right there. That's a pretty awful back-to-back -back miss. Depends on what Escar Good does with it. And the Mochi Bolt miss again. Look at that. The 95 Guts lead goes for Ice Claw. It doesn't even matter. It misses, but whatever. Mochi Bolt's gonna land. How much? Ooh, it burns him. Or is that intelligence? Glacial Chunk. This is at 62. Would have done a whole lot if it landed. 
bullet miss. Eskar good got burned quite badly there, but still has 50 guts, 60 guts now. Another mochi bullet, another burn. Eskar good hits the ice claw. Another mochi bullet! Oh my god, but the 20% keeps him alive. The dirty tactics doing big damage, but not enough. Can't hit twice, that's the thing. 20% health coming back. Look at that. Your intelligence drops whenever you're on fire, too? Yeah. Okay. We gotta swap it out. We gotta swap it out. This could be it. Okay, here we go. Game number three, Eskar Good up 2-0. They're both uh, Metron subbreeds. I just noticed that. Metron best subbreed confirmed. Never know. I feel like the Gondar outfit is probably really hard to walk around in, right? Ooh, it's another Mochi bullet. A third? But that didn't do much because of the proc. But now, Tomato Town's got a shot to win the whole thing. Hits the licking. It's not enough to kill. Still in it. Eskar good, just chilling. Glacial chunk. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> he attacked like six times in a row. He hit every attack. Mochi. I'm real mad about that last one. Likes the change in scenery. Eskar good has a lot of hidden skills that work to his advantage. All those uh, are pretty good buffs, yeah. Middle Town's got a lot that work to his advantage, too. It's not over till it's over. Reverse sweep incoming? Mochi to miss. It's the second one. Good withering on that, but Eskar good's got a faster guts rate than Tomato Town does, so it doesn't end up mattering that much. The minus skill on the freeze? A little bit of trouble now. Can't even attack, so it doesn't matter a whole lot. Hits the licking anyway at 17%. Oh my god. Nobody can say Mochi's not trying. He gets kicked right in the gut. He's got one life left. All comes down to this. He misses the 41% Tomato Town on his last life point, potentially, of the tournament. He needs to do something drastic here. He needs to use something that's not withering. He gets pushed back into bullet range. He's got a shot. He swings it. I think that's going to be it. The Ice Claw misses at 30. I don't think Tomato Town's going to have enough guts to do anything. 7,000 life left on Escar. Good. He swings and he misses. Tomato Town does not die, but it's not enough. Eskar good. The monster everyone expected to win ended up winning. Congratulations, Sarah. Fantastic monster. Great job figuring out the game this quickly. So, Eskar good with the 3 1 over Tomato Town. We're going to do a best of one between Spark and Ho Oh for third place. That shit never works first try, eh? I'll do it again. Good yeah, okay. So, Sparky and Ho-Oh. Best of one. Last chance to bet. If you guys want to go bonkers with what you just got, you won some chips, here's your chance. Whoever wins this wins the whole thing. Eskaruru good. Oh, it actually fits 15 letters? Oh my god. Okay. Prediction is live for these two. You've seen them fight. You know what they're all about. You know what they're all about. Aren't you do better with a more... He'd do better with a more aggressive personality. Yeah, I think so too. I have to draw the Gondar now, yeah. Who's making me type out Eskaruru good a bunch of times? Oh my god. 
As if we need more re-rolling in this game. Yeah. 60% on Ho Ho. Here we go. First to one. Who wins it? Warp shot. Big damage. 99% chance to hit. Sparky will win the single hit, but he needs to land at 50-50. Goes for the Crescent Beam at 32. And this is there, Ho Ho, with 99 warp shot. Does he finish him off? Self repair keeps him alive. He has enough guts to attack again if he wants. What's up? What's up? Point blank shot. That's going to do it. Ho Ho is your third place monster for this tournament. So, congratulations to everybody. What a fantastic tournament. Super fun. Let's take a look at the standings. And I will tally up what I owe. So, that was great. Congratulations to everybody. There's the last 50. Let's watch that tick up to 1,000. There we go. We got 1,000 bones. What a fun tournament. What a fun day. What a great charity. If you guys want to donate, you can still use that link. We're not actually done. Like, you know, fundraising is never over. So if you feel compelled to donate to Gamers Outreach, nobody's going to stop you. You know, it's still a great cause, even if we hit our goal. So let's find somebody to raid.